Hey, I'm Rick Wolf. And I'm TopsyBot5000. And you're watching us play this game on this console. Gaming. All right, Resi Eves. You know, Corpse used to use this as a combat training simulator. Logged many hours I did. Hmm, where's Cylon? Uh, after we watched Resident Evil Retribution, he said he'd rather smoke a cyanide cigarette covered in gasoline-soaked hornets and be put out with a sledgehammer than have to watch or play anything Resident Evil ever again. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. Resident Evil. How do they get Christian Bale to read that? I like my games like I like my women. Reindeer. So we'll be pre-steroids, Chris. Yeah, he looks oddly human here. <laughs> yeah. Before he started shooting shark adrenaline into his butt cheeks. Victims were apparently eaten. But they were gluten-free, so don't worry. Look, Chris! There's a good place to get killed. Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. I got too close to the blades. <laughs> and it turned into... A nightmare. All our cutscenes were upscaled from 480p to 1080p. Oh god. It was a nightmare. Sure. Well, stumbled into Michael Vick's yard. Joseph F. The F is for fucked. <laughs> You're a big help, Jill. <laughs> Rubbernecker. No, stop. Oh my god, Joseph. It's bacon! Ah, they're barking stock sound effects at us. I find dog bark number three to be the most terrifying. Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Sorry, I gotta pick the kids up from soccer practice. Chris, this way. Follow the sound of my choppy delivery. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill... Captain Whiskers? Myself. That's my cat's name! We don't know where <laughs> Barry is. Captain Whiskers. What was that? <laughs> Sounded like someone just charged a plot device. I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. I figure we'll get killed faster if we split up. Chris? <laughs> Take care. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hinting at a romance that'll never happen, Jill. He's got Marty Feldman eyes. Well, everything seems to be in order here. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker? Jill? Here, Captain Whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You're not Captain Whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is embarrassing. You shoot like a henchman. There we go. Oh, he's a zombie and he has a receding hairline. Kyle Gas. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> How will Tenacious D carry on? Come on, let's see you do a cock push up now. Maybe a little closer, I don't know if I can make that. Oh, thanks for patting me on the head, Xbox. First kills are special. Well, that is never coming out of the carpet. Fine, I'll go through that door anyway. Apparently your boots don't work. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing with these games. It's like you're supposed to be this badass special ops kind of guy and who can't kick down a door. Can't kick down a door, can only carry six items on his person at any one time. I guess the stars they don't teach you tactical techniques like setting things down. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey down there. You! Yeah, you! Walking around back there! I will casually stroll away from you, sir. 
<laughs> oh, good for you! It's so nice of the monsters to abandon chase once you get through a door. <laughs> They're very lazy that way. Oh, you went through the door. F it. <laughs> I'd have to turn the handle <laughs> and push or maybe pull. That's a lot of effort for a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> the Book of Expletives, that would be way better to hang. The Book of Expletives by Andrew Dice Clay. Oh no, we're gonna have to read? I play video games to get away from reading. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. <laughs> and insert fart joke here. You know, that picture in the background suggests that this was a much heavier read. <laughs> uh, pretty sure you get jumped if you go back there, so I'm gonna avoid that for now. You in the wrong hood, motherfucker! This is zombie town! <laughs> you wearing the wrong colors! Gotta have your intestines hanging out around here, sucker. Look at that handsome mug. Nah, that's a face only a zombie could love. Alright, let's drain the zombie stew. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Sure, I'm an idiot. Why would you ever do this? <laughs> Stick your hand into that dark <laughs> that's water. <laughs> that's motor oil. Yeah. Oh, well. I was impersonating a tea bag and you ruined it. Just another day at the old folks home. Blood bath and beyond. <laughs> nice. So I'm uncomfortable with how close this gentleman is to me. Oh. Okay. Now this is the condition I usually leave the bathroom in. Dead body sprawled out on the floor, a bathtub full of something foul, a toilet that looks like a sex crimes victim. <laughs> Eh, we better call SVU to come fix this toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> S sewage Victims Unit. <laughs> Out through this door is a bunch of dogs and an item we won't need until much later, so I'm actually not going to go out there because I apparently suck at fighting Dobermans. Yeah, you do. Why are they always Dobermans? You never see... <laughs> it's always Dobermans. <laughs> You never see any Chihuahua zombies. It's because this is Mr. Burns' mansion. Ah. Excellent. I hope Mr. Burns doesn't find out about this T-virus outbreak. Yeah. There's a dude. Opa! Well, that went swimmingly. <laughs> Guess you had the right angle, huh? Yeah. Maybe it was because I was elevated. Well, that was handy. Oh. I gotta say, the herbs look ridiculously cartoony, though. They... eh. Fully illuminated in a dark corner. <laughs> it's just like Scooby-Doo effect. I wonder if I can pick this item up. If you watch those old Scooby-Doo cartoons, you can tell, like, what suit of armor is gonna move. Cause it's, yeah, it's, it's a not, different color. <laughs> it's a different color. It's obviously hand-drawn. It's not, like, pre-rendered. Special instructions for the disposal of dead bodies. Fire! Fire! <laughs> uh, okay, I'll read it like Beavis. <laughs> we have new information regarding those beings. Uh, they may appear to be dead, but in fact are able to come back to life. <laughs> However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease the resurrection. Resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> you'll need something to light it with, which you'll need to find by yourself. You will give me kerosene, Bangholio. Okay, so you fill up the canteen with kerosene, and then you can go burn them. You know, putting kerosene in a flask inspires some <laughs> kind of disturbing implications. Would not want to mix that up with Papa's medicine. I wonder what uh, drinking kerosene would do to you. <laughs> kill you? <laughs> well, yeah. We'd have to pull up the MSDS on that, but I'm pretty sure it'll f***ing kill you. But in which manner? And how terrible would it be? Well, back on the topic of dogs, I'm guessing they can still run fast because gnarled, small, shaky Sarah McLaughlin dogs wouldn't be scary. Just sad. <laughs> That'd be great uh, whenever they attack you if, if that song from the commercial just started to play. <laughs> <laughs> and everything went to slow motion all over dramatic. Pretty sure there's a nasty old grandma lurking up here. 
green guy. Even... Oh! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Oh God! <laughs> oh! I know somebody who's not getting a fruitcake for Christmas this year. <laughs> you sound like Julia Child. I hope Dead Alive is the first and last time I ever see zombies bumping really uglies. Yeah, I found it less disgusting than the Paris Hilton sex tape. Blarf. Oh, it's a book someone bought off Etsy. The Wooden Mount. I'd call Paris Hilton a wooden mount. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like banging a bag of coat hangers. Wait, what was Nirvana up to in 1998? Still scraping Kurt Cobain's brain off the ceiling. Ooh. Hey, wait! I gotta eat your brains! What if all the zombies just uh, are people who suffer from extreme cases of eczema? Well, in that case, we just need to bomb the place with St. Ives lotion. <laughs> Hi. Join the party! Oh. <clears throat> I'm not laying down with him. I refuse to be the little spoon. Oh! Opa! Opa! Yeah, welcome to the party, pal. It's a dead man's party. Who could ask for more? Those walls look terrible. Oof. I'm gonna guess that's an asset they didn't re-ass. <laughs> no. It's gonna smell gray, don't you? <laughs> right. Stand directly above that. Take it in. Yeah. It is locked, an emblem of a helmet. You have to play a 90s rock band that no one remembers to open that door. Hey, this is 1998. I'm sure Helmet's touring with Clutch or something. <laughs> Chris really wants to get this over with so he can get home and see the new episode of Friends. <laughs> Ah, 1998, when puppets ruled the sci-fi channel. I think you mean Siffy. The analogs are handy, but man, they're just, they're so herky-jerky. Like, look at this. <laughs> He's going all William Shatner on us. <laughs> A well-used bed. Oh, God. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I select the kerosene, please? I don't like that ominously placed chair at the head of the bed. Oh! Some <laughs> eyes wide shut shit. Eyes swollen shut. <laughs> <laughs> Dead shoe diaries. So let's, to keep these interesting, let's can, let's keep the silly voice thing going as obnoxious as Beavis was. What's, uh, you do a good Sean Connery, don't you, Topsy? <laughs> Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something when no one could find it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, we are back like Spina Bifida. This seems like a great place to be blowing a dog whistle. <laughs> yeah. Miley Cyrus comes running. <laughs> she starts twerking for a dog biscuit. In the arms of the angels <laughs> fly away. From here <laughs> in this cold, dark hotel room, the endlessness that you feel. Oh my god. <laughs> Some kind of thorny plant you've never seen before. So, a rose. Chris is real dumb. Uh, you're getting exposed to so much biological fluid, you know, I. It's as if Robin Thicke were partying here? <laughs> if you fart and immediately em emulate yourself, then... <laughs> <clears throat> Ooped him. Oh, man, this guy. I'm pretty sure he wakes up as soon as you get on the other side of him, so we'll nip that in the bud. Whoa! Whoa, he did not like that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I've always wanted a receding coffee table. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like a super villain's pad. <laughs> so we use the imitation of the key to... This is just the old Indiana Jones trick, except it'll actually work. 
You know, I feel like all of these crazy traps and puzzles you bunk, bump into in video games are really just inconveniencing the bad guys that work there. <laughs> That's how it appears. Yeah, I mean... Every f***ing Monday, I almost get disemboweled on my way to the time clock. <laughs> I gotta take this, uh... This TPS report over to Bill. Ah, I'm gonna have to go through the armor trap room. God damn it. To walk right through the Iron Maiden. <laughs> Pass through the Halifax Jibet. <laughs> underneath the guillotine. Okay. <sighs> We're gonna have to deal with that crimson head. I'm pretty sure he's right there. And see ya. <laughs> <laughs> I touched the door, dude. You're done. You can't hit me. <laughs> and the floor is lava. Uh, polite people knock. Oh. Opa! Woo! <laughs> ah, yeah. I love that smell. <laughs> they should put that in a candle. It's like biscuits and gravy. Mmm. Just like Mama used to burn. Zombie potpourri. Oh, those crisp autumn evenings after everyone's been out burning their zombies. The smell of burnt flesh and singed hair wafting through the air. You know, if I was just filthy rich, I'd have a replica of this mansion built in. Just live there. <laughs> That's how much I love these old Resident Evil games. You can pay guys to lumber around and not bathe, jump out at you randomly. <laughs> yeah. Living the dream. I will take the flash grenade, thank you. Little guys in trench coats explode out of it, show off their junk. <laughs> That'd be upsetting even for a zombie. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? There's daggers everywhere. What's this? The smell that's in the air. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Chris. This isn't fair. What's this? <laughs> oh, we're about to read my most favorite note in Resident Evil ever. Forever? Forever, ever? Forever, ever? Let's see. What's a good voice? We could do Super Mario. <laughs> May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Alias from Security, and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. May 10th, 1998. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. Wahoo! It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw it in the pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Mario, I like what he sees. <laughs> May 11th, 1998. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. <laughs> Any journal entry that starts that way, I give a thumbs up to. A scratch of the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh dropped right off. Boo, boo, boo. What the hell is happening to me? Wah! May 19th, 1998. Fever gump itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Mamma mia! Don't know how long I can keep this up. May 21st, 1998. Itch, itch, Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty! <laughs> uh, a little Michael Jackson in it at the end there. There's a little Michael Jackson in everybody. Ew! Four slash slash. Itchy, tasty. Bye bye! Bum ba dum bum. Tell you a little story about a man named Zed, a poor walking corpse who on his family fed. <laughs> the old Zed was out rooting for some food when out from her throat came bubbling crude. Blood, that is. Red gold. Texas tea. <laughs> you are not helping. The undead hillbillies. Opa! Hey there. I'm Itchy Itchy Scott. Well, hi, Itchy Itchy Scott. What do you do? Well, as I'm sure you've noticed, I have an ugly face. And people like to kill me. I can see why. <laughs> what do you mean it might unlock this door? 
I think we've established that the old locks that are simple in mechanism are always opened with old keys, Chris. Chris seems a little slow to be authorized to shoot people. <laughs> An ink ribbon. That's not a useful zombie slaying weapon. What am I going to do with that? Write strongly worded letters at them? <laughs> Dear Spencer Estate Management, if I could give half a star to your zombieing, I would. I usually love the undead, but you, sir, have a terrible vibe. The rudeness you displayed while I attempted to incinerate your corpse was unacceptable. <laughs> hey, buddy. Opa! <laughs> I'll just, uh... That was some of the most blatant profiling I've ever seen. Just because a few zombies have tried to eat your brains, you splattered that guy before you could even identify if he had any teeth. <laughs> hey man, you saw him, he was going for my gun. You protected and surfed the shit out of him. <clears throat> this looks like a good place to hang out. No further use for the key. Oh good, so we can get rid of it. Got some popsicles in the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. I can't wait to sink my teeth into you, Chris Redfield. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? Oh my gosh. We are just rolling in old keys. That sounds moderately uncomfortable. <laughs> that sounds wildly uncomfortable. It smells like matches in here. Somebody light a piece of shit on fire. <laughs> You'll do. There's a nice piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> My biscuits are burning. <laughs> we took our cameras behind the counter at your local Taco Bell. What we found may be pretty, pretty much, much a, a, yeah, exactly yeah. what you expected, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Squish. Squish. <laughs> yes, uh, zombies do have poopy pants, which to me makes them the most terrifying of all monsters. <laughs> I don't want to hear your moaning. Maybe you shouldn't have dropped out of MIT and started working for shadowy companies that force you to work in spooky mansions in the middle of the woods. You've made poor life choices. Yes, this is your own fault. <laughs> Freaking worm trolley. <laughs> <laughs> worm trolley. Uh, <laughs> I think that's what we should call them from here out. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. I like the painting there on the mantle of the guy with the sh sword getting shoved through his face. Always a classic. Yeah, that's the Persistence of Stabbery by Stabador Dolly. Oh, good. <gasps> he looks... He looks like he ran to the corner and ran into his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> no, looks like one of mine. You said you'd call! <laughs> you said you'd stop calling. I am not doing this with you. Okay. Your girl. Follow me around here. Come on. This seems like a bad time to be rearranging the furniture. <laughs> oh, it is the best time. This is one of the least inviting fortune-telling machines I've ever seen. And voila! <laughs> Gay zombie strip club. <laughs> what, Stars doesn't pay enough so you're dancing for your dollars? Awesome virus on me! Come on, infect my cells! I'm afraid your test results came back positive. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's no cure for genital sugar. <laughs> Pour some ointment on me! <laughs> uh, this is not Spencer Estate talk. Have some class. This is a classy joint. <laughs> Got a lot of icky sores from stanky 80s whores, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious, but you're on audio probation now. <laughs> oh! There's not enough cocaine here to fuel all these deaf leopard jokes anyway. Mm. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. <laughs> who disturbs my slumber? 
Is that what that Latin is supposed to say? <laughs> it takes a long time to say anything in Latin. Touch nothing but the lamp. <laughs> and, oh, what a letdown. Oh, it's a magnet top bear trap. <laughs> hey, on the plus side, we can join Slipknot. We only need 20 more guys. And then we can appear on the soundtrack for the first of many miserable Resident Evil film sequels. I think we best stay off the topic of the movie so this doesn't turn into a cauldron of seething hatred. Well, what else is there to say that we didn't say when we reviewed Resident Evil, our word? Which one was it that time? Retribution. Uh... This place needs a woman's touch. Decor by Leatherface. <laughs> Furniture you can see yourself in. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. We're Luke Skywalker. Richard, what the hell happened to you? My character model was upscaled. Chris, <laughs> this place... You have to walk all the way across the mansion. Resident Evil. <laughs> You've only got six item slots. Resident Evil. <laughs> you have to watch a door load animation between every room. <laughs> Resident Evil. <clears throat> this wall texture has been over compressed. Resident, Resident Evil. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that'll do for now. You know, Sir Spencer must have spent a fortune on candelabras. These things are everywhere. Uh, this isn't like any Spencers I've ever been in. <laughs> Where's all the pot posters and playing cards with f***ing morbidly obese naked people on them? I'm always looking for the decontamination shower on my way out of that store so I can scrub my eyeballs. Yeah, you know it's bad when you make Hot Topic look like J.C. Penney's. Richard's fine. Yeah, he's got tween cop looking after him. <laughs> Shh. Don't give Hollywood any more ideas. Here's a, here's a little food for thought. Since we had to go through a ridiculous booby trap puzzle in order to get the key to open that door, how did Rebecca and Richard get in there? Hmm? That's a very good question. One which I expect has no answer. Things often make little to no sense. Resident, Resident Evil! Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. Nope! I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Wait, no. You have to go to the other side of the mansion to give me a lollipop. <laughs> Take it. It's a radio. Oh, thanks. I thought it was a pepper mill. Carry it. Be careful. I'll leave you to your Bieber and your premature sexting and... Uh. <laughs> well, this is 1998, so in sync and Yahoo Messenger. <laughs> but if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem, but we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. So we've learned that Stars lets elderly gypsy women join and 16 year old girls. We should have this case solved in no time. <laughs> Why does so much of the Stars budget go to glitter and old world curses? Opa! False alarm. So this is awkward now. <laughs> Chris, I'm sensing some hostility from you. I like how she'll just stare vacantly where I was standing. Why isn't her nose buried in her cell phone? Oh yeah, 1998. It's buried in her Tamagotchi. <laughs> it pooped and died! <laughs> This playthrough has been a who's who of 90s cultural diarrhea. <laughs> yes, so many songs I f***ing hate. <laughs> Just rushing back to me. <clears throat> if you could only see how blue her eyes... No, 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 no. God, no. Sometimes I am my own worst enemy. Oh, Jesus. No, that's even worse. Cause sometimes I kick the living shit out of me. That's what I can do. You know, speaking of horrible voices. 
the uh, voice acting in this is not terrible, especially when juxtaposed with the original Resident Evil. But I'm almost kind of bummed out that the voice acting went from so unbelievably atrocious, it's wildly entertaining, to just kind of mediocre. The worst thing you can do is be mediocre. <laughs> yeah. Be really good or be really bad. <laughs> the downside to that is people like Tommy Wiseau have careers. <laughs> Oh, hi, undeserved fame. Hey, uh, hey, Topsy. Yeah? Can you hear the dolphins cry? <laughs> Never leave us. <laughs> Is this happening to me? <laughs> Two can play that game. The angel opens her eyes. Oh. Hell, blue colored eyes. Uh, the blonde, uh, something on two what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah? With arms wide open. Oh! You've nuked us! Oh, the Volganity! <laughs> Zombie! Oh, Opa! Uh, uh. <laughs> Opa has performed by the Cranberries. In your head! In your head! Bullet! Bullet! Opa! Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. It's hard to watch Grandpa suffering from his dementia. <laughs> Alice! I'm telling you, Martha, I'm a reanimated corpse in a murder house. <clears throat> I left some bullets in the room on the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out, Wesker. <laughs> Wait, go back. Meow, 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 bullets, meow, meow, room on the right. Meow, meow, go ahead and loan, meow, meow, way out, meow, Captain Whiskers. <laughs> well, this calligraphy class has really paid off, Captain Whiskers. This is so fascinating. Inventory management. I feel like I'm working in the stock room at a Menards. <laughs> hey, uh, speaking of, why are Menards always so big? Ah. <laughs> uh... Wow, they got some big squirrels around here. Opa! Ow! Step right up, get your shotgun lobotomies here. Opa! Uh, uh, mm. Get off! Look, man, I don't even know these guys. I'm not with them. You don't have to hurt me. Things just got out of control. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Gaming. All right, you ready for some more Resi Eves? Are you? You don't sound so good. Yeah, I'm coming down off of a thing. Oh, robots don't get sick. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Yeah, well, enjoy never having an orgasm. Touche. <laughs> so. I just realized that we could have picked a way more batter asser costume for Chris from the very beginning. I don't want to watch you play through all that again. Come on, dude. Mmm, I'll scream. Won't take that long. I bet I can do it before you can stop screaming no. You're on. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Baby. Yep, here we are. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I think it was worth it. Had some unforeseen side effects with Rebecca, though. <laughs> yeah, that outfit. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of dubious fitness before and after photos. <laughs> Things, you know. 
I guess that's the same guy. Makes you squint. Well, this is Chris's BSAA uniform from, like, five games later. Oh, his Basaw outfit, yes. Big stupid-ass apes? What's bust to move? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's actually Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance. NATO and their stupid acronyms. So... Shut up! It just got really white trashy out here. Man, you chained up in the cold for a week with no food and water. What are you yapping about? I'm gonna guess the name of the uh, chemical there is uh, Japanese translation boo boo. It's not my boo boo! It's your boo boo! Most dishonorable! <laughs> uh, I tell mom! <laughs> <laughs> he is touching me! No! I am not touching him! He is touching me! No! <laughs> oh, cultural insensitivity 101. Hey, humans have been crapping on robots forever. I'm gonna get my licks in. So, we need to head this way. I'm hoping <laughs> this doorknob doesn't break. Shouldn't a highly skilled Basaw agent be able to deal with a broken doorknob? Let's see, um... <laughs> you, uh, you do a mean Kermit the Frog, don't you? <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I, gotta <clears throat> I gotta get in. <laughs> Why does my finger smell like bacon? Oh, God! <laughs> no! A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Yeah. Sorry, Alma. He was a total douchebag. He was wearing his sunglasses indoors and at night, like he was freaking Kanye. I hope this letter finds you well, and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me, being green. Oh, yes. Even as I write, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep, where there is peace. And Jim Henson. <laughs> Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Kermit D. Frog. Where the hell is Alma? Oh god, Piggy, you weren't supposed to hear any of that. You're dead, Kermit! <laughs> <laughs> There's a large scratch in this wall. Doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. That's insensitive, Chris. So hateful. <laughs> they didn't ask to be zombies. This music has a touch of gremlins in it, I think. <laughs> so is Lil Wayne. He looks just like him. <laughs> How come movies don't have awesome theme songs anymore? <laughs> right? Um. Eh, no, I'm not gonna take that. A lot of movies don't have awesome anything anymore. No, you don't notice uh, the score in movies anymore. It's just. <laughs> Okay, it's there. These footprints look like they're headed straight through the bed. What? It was then that Jesus carried me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that guy stabbing his own junk? <laughs> <laughs> I might do the same if I had to listen to this squawking all day. I've never seen that variation of Japanese ritual suicide. <laughs> Penis seppuku. <laughs> Get your circumcisions here at the Spencer Estate Self-Circumcision Station. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. That was impressive. <laughs> now spell check it. <laughs> We're having a half-off sale. <laughs> 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 so, so when you're having your evil murder mansion constructed, is a crow torture chamber slash art gallery just a a box you can check? Yeah, that's standard. Make sure it shocks them. It's no good unless it shocks them. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, this should be green. Let's hope it turns green. I want an art galley with an electrified aviary. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Is that going to cost me any extra or something? Do I need a special permit or... Well, the stuff he's wearing on this uh, new costume has got to weigh like 40 pounds. Yeah, I still haven't figured out what's on his back. Well, they certainly aren't item slots. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly couldn't fit any ammo or tiny keys back there. Nope. Are you ready for some more Resident Evil plot hole spelunking? <laughs> Hit me! I'm always down to poke holes and things. <clears throat> well, as anyone with a brainstem has probably surmised, there is a nasty waiting for us in that coffin. Oh god, not a nasty! <laughs> yes, a nasty. Placed there by Umbrella researchers, who froze it in order to entrap it, and then immediately placed it right next to a giant open furnace. <laughs> You're kidding. That's not a plot hole or a plot cavern. That's a plot abyss. Then who devised this asinine locking system with these masks? <laughs> it just, just makes me think of the higher-ups at Umbrella over in Europe coming over here and just be like... What are you guys doing over here? <laughs> this is a gross misuse of company time and manpower. You're fired. Turn in your puzzle guide. <laughs> You'll never conduct unethical scientific research in this town again. <laughs> there are bloodstains on the floor. Hope they didn't come from your friends. I hope this isn't my blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Oh, Barry, Barry, quite contrary. Your delivery's awful scary. Hey, how debilitating would it be if in real life you could only carry around six items and you could only put them away once you reach a storage bin? <laughs> Pretty debilitating. Takes Chris the better part of a week just to go grocery shopping. Eh, drive to the store, get six things, drive home, put them in the fridge, drive back to the store, get six more things. <laughs> it may take even longer. I mean, do his car keys and his wallet count as items? <laughs> no, no, no. Those are auxiliary items, like the lighter or the defense daggers. Ah, okay. <laughs> you can just see him in the dairy section like, Will you take the mozzarella sun-dried tomato and basil cream cheese? <laughs> ah, damn. I don't have any more inventory space. And I already got bagels. I can't put him down either! <laughs> I'm gonna have to drive all the way home to put down these bagels. <laughs> and I drive a freaking helicopter. These gas prices are killing me. <laughs> I'm just lying to myself if I say I'm gonna go back for that cream cheese. Somebody should make, make a shitty Resident Evil game where you just go shopping. <laughs> oh boy. Look at all the sad little zombie orphans peering in at the delicious man dinner on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir, could I trouble you for a slice of your cerebellum? That's a Cthulhu dance party. <laughs> the only way to get past is to give him glow sticks. <laughs> so, at this point, I'm particularly thankful we did not play as Jill. <laughs> Uh, oh, those kinky Japanese. <sighs> Here's some fan service for you. Actually, you know what? You know what? I have had it with you guys! Check this out. I don't want to have to burn at least this guy, so... I am going to cheat the system. Come on, buddy. Come on, get your grip on. <laughs> What a terrible zombie he completely missed. You undead doofus. Oh, we want to see it. Wow! <gasps> Opa! Stuffy Opa. <laughs> I think you cleared his sinuses. <laughs> Dr. Rick is in. <laughs> I hear you have a sinus infection. Have you tried a flash grenade? <laughs> Uh, back on topic here, all that trouble to get some shotgun shells. It's called a gun cabinet, dude. <sighs> <laughs> I want a perfectly sculpted, rotating bust of a tiger with an intricate locking system that can only be activated by a jewel to hide some shotgun shells. 
Just the most convoluted crap you've ever imagined. I want you to do that. <laughs> these aren't these aren't puzzles. They're just asinine inconveniences. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> we don't want to deter anyone or test their wit. We just want to make them late for something. <laughs> Chris is so pissed he had a pot roast in the oven. The potatoes are going to turn to mush. (laughs) Son of a bitch. That means I'll have to go to the store. Bob Saget. I'm going to have to clear my whole freaking calendar. I have a debilitating disease that prevents me from carrying more than six items. Where's my handicap sticker? (laughs) Suck. Suck! Suck! It's me, Chris. Deputy Jailbait, reporting for duty, sir. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. If someone bashed themselves in the head with a hammer before playing it. All right. We have to. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. Like you did when you decided to wear that to the office today. Be a goddamn professional, Rebecca. (laughs) You've taken Casual Friday and turned it into Casual Sex Friday. (laughs) You're ashamed of yourself. I just don't want to think about the world's problems, man. I just want to jam. (laughs) Kenneth's throat is splattered all over the carpet out here. Time to work on my keystrokes. Let's not even talk about Richard. Shouldn't she be watching him? She just got bored and wandered off. <laughs> I'm bored. This guy doesn't even want to talk about boys or makeup. He just he just lays there and bleeds. You're off the force, deputy jailbait. <laughs> Turn in your daisy dukes. No, 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 no. Don't do that here in my office. Can't be seen with you doing that in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in enough trouble as it is. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Chris Crotchfield. <laughs> Look out, we're about to get chilled. <laughs> no. He died doing what he loved, trying to suck his own dick. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Spire, 28 years old, killed in a horrible self fellatio accident. <laughs> He's in hell, like, I don't know what happened. Like, it just got really out of control. <gasps> what could that be? <laughs> they kicked him out of hell. <laughs> Rapists, murderers, child molesters, sure, but you're a pervert, sir. <laughs> when there's no more room in hell for self filators the dead will walk the earth. <laughs> I guess he couldn't see the forest for the trees. <laughs> if Resident Evil was a cheese dick 80s or early 90s action schlock movie. Resident Evil 5 and 6 are modern cheese dick Michael Bay action schlock movies. You just happen to be holding a controller while you watch them. Yeah, those ones don't seem too popular. No. I think I got it. The Rachel haircut. I think I got it. 90s. 90s. Mmm. This doesn't sound like mmm bop. (laughs) There's no bop in this mmm. (laughs) Play some real music. Mmm, 90s. Practice makes perfect. You should try some. What's this? Uh, this would be the aforementioned Scooby-Doo bullshit. <laughs> Whoa, total sex dungeon in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's Lord Spencer's naked puzzle basement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a stockpile of Umbrella's new bio-organic marital aids. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Trevor's diary. Trevor. How about a bit of foreshadowing? I'll do Solid Snake. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. 
It all makes sense now. Big Boss was behind all of this. I've decided to escape using tactical espionage. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you're safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Otacon gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to get out of this dark place. Should have just snuck out using a cardboard box. <laughs> just a box. Yes, I'll take the gold emblem. Now I'm regretting that decision. <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> Rebecca. Bye. <does> the, <laughs> she, she starts playing the funeral march. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> you know how to play I'm a bitch? <laughs> Uh, so this is just the old Indiana Jones trick yet again. Repetitive evil. Were you all right in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, is that how Japanese people think Americans talk to each other? Were you all right in there? Yeah. Our conversation is over now. <laughs> this is such an awkward exchange. Probably shouldn't have hired Jean-Claude Van Damme as your dialogue consultant. <laughs> Chris can only speak in one-liners. <laughs> Were you all right in there? If it bleeds, we can kill it. What? No, seriously, Chris, I was worried about you. Live for nothing, but die for something. Chris, you're scaring me. Yippee-ki-yay, mother Okay. So, for all this cryptic nonsense, basically you just have to make it six o'clock. Dickory dickory duck! This puzzle can suck my mothballs! Cobra! <laughs> I don't want none unless you got buns, hun! <laughs> yes! Oh. Ow! You dick! <laughs> Eddie. So, yeah, so we can get some more lulls out of Rebecca. I'm going to go ahead and let him bite me. But let it be known. You could totally do this without taking a hit. Bite me. Bite me. Ah, there we go. <laughs> You're not the metric ton of frozen feet of mice I ordered. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> you taste like spray on tan and whey powder. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is so awkward it, it won't attack you now <laughs> what oh, he looks ashamed oh this is so embarrassing oh there's nothing but asbestos up here son of a bitch <laughs> oh that snake roofied me <laughs> Oh, Chris, I can give you a ride home. Serum. Serum. I remember seeing it. I'll be right back. Just hang in there. Just a quick run to Forever 21, and I swear I'll get you that life-saving serum. <laughs> They're having a huge sale on scrunchies, and my hair is getting pretty long. <laughs> Tween Cop and her never-ending struggle against the agents of acne. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, she can take down the Mexican cartel, but can she get Dreamy Derek to check the I like you box? <laughs> nice. Uh, no, um, it's, uh, it's called Resident Evil Zero. Ah, well that's how much interest I have in it. Kind of, uh, kind of screws the narrative all up, which, which, uh, it wasn't really screwed on in the first place, <laughs> And it just doesn't really work for me because they approached it with kind of a, a sequel mentality. What, like everything has to be bigger, badder, crazier? Yes. <laughs> and it's set before all this, and you fight like a giant scorpion in the first ten minutes on a train. Sounds like a Will Smith movie. This is not the time. <laughs> no time for inventory management. Let's see, can we interact with Richard at all here? Whoa! What? 
Deputy Jailbait always gets her man. <laughs> oh. You have the right to remain mine forever. Oh. That was creepy. That was that was genuinely creepy. Chris's veins are filling with poisonous snake venom, but Richard's face isn't going to creepily stroke itself. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, in Resident Evil Zero, you're, you're, you play as Rebecca, I think, the day before this one. By this point in the story, she's dealt with so much crazier shit than anything that goes on in this entire game, really. And throughout the whole game, it really seems like she can't handle herself. You know, later we have to save her from a, like, pretty much run-of-the-mill monster, and she's just cowering in the corner like, Ooh. Oh! <laughs> So does Sheriff Pedophile show up in time to save Deputy Jailbait? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> Sheriff Pedophile and Deputy Jailbait. This fall on CBS. <laughs> so what do you do in Resident Evil Zero? Run around in inappropriate outfits and retrieve serum? Uh, no, you hang out with a buff dude and a wife beater with a tribal tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course that's who Deputy Jailbait hangs out with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what else? Uh, that's too funny. No, Jill, keep those starry blue eyes and smoking hot bot away from me. Don't do anything that you wouldn't do. I'll try to remember that. I'll be sure to cut off my pants into tiny shorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't listen to good music. I will I... rob an Indian and cut the sleeves off his jacket. <laughs> I will only purchase binders that feature the artwork of Lisa Frank. <laughs> I'll act incredibly entitled and take incessant f***ing selfies. <laughs> and I won't avoid rainbow parties. <laughs> God, I made it in time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm glad you potato in time, too. Before any massive brain damage occurred. Is this an anime? Align the camera with the poop shoot. <laughs> I did not look at her butt. I did not. It's bullshit. I did not. Oh, hi, anus. I like how, um... That's that's Resident Evil logic for you. The serum takes care of the venom, but what about the massive snake bite wound? <laughs> yeah, I just had two railroad spikes driven <laughs> through my body. I should be fine. Not a problem. This guy goes there. Oh, all over us. I think it got in my mouth. Ugh. All over you, all over me. Oh, don't start that sh. <laughs> Those nails are ghetto fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> it's zombie Flojo <laughs> with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> she must have a hormone problem. The Stone and Metal Object by Ronnie James Dio. The stone and metal object! <laughs> <laughs> Why can't he trade places with Keith Richards? Damn it. Cause only the good die young. Ooh. You know, I think the DEA should give Keith Richards a medal for keeping all those drugs off the street. <laughs> He's like a one man war on drugs. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> that pile of cocaine won't be bothering you again. <laughs> no! You must assert your dominance. Very good. <laughs> Die, Ubu. Die. <laughs> good dog. Gaming. Gaming. What's up, bros? I'm Richard Doodle. And I'm Topsy P. And we're going.
gonna use a silly voice for the rest of our playthrough. Don't forget about the obnoxious, unnecessary screaming and commentary that can be delivered by a third grader. <laughs> uh, that kid has 36 million subscribers. Uh, don't tell me that. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> so, double suicide after this? Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. It's a damn good thing you don't have to burn the zombie dogs. <laughs> be horrifying if they came back as, like, crimson Rhodesian Ridgebacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's never good when a dog breed sounds like it's supposed to be some kind of gorilla. <laughs> no. North, Valley of Destruction. South, Cave of Hatred. East, Summit of Madness. West, Path of Revenge. Man, Stephen King isn't even trying with his book titles anymore. <laughs> The pit and the passive aggressive. <laughs> the canyon of it's your damn turn to do the dishes. <laughs> the gorge of you were a total bitch to my parents at Christmas. <laughs> the chasm of it's not my fault you should have knocked first. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Whisker? Captain Whiskers? <laughs> What's that? You'll only eat wet food. Huh? You want to knead my chest with your razor-sharp claws as a sign of affection? <laughs> Cats are horrible. Yep. So that was Captain Whiskers? <laughs> yes, he was warning us about the monster with chains. Ew. It's literally the east end of a west-facing dog. <laughs> yeah, there's a little trick to remembering the solution to this puzzle. The guard dog's desires are actually to be ass to ass. Kinky. <laughs> that damn rule 34. What's a man have to do to get some ass to ass Cerberus porn around here? <laughs> People are also horrible. And past the cemetery. Yes! <laughs> oh god. 90s. 90s. I am the ghost of Resident Evil Pass. <laughs> what do you want with me? To remind you of when Resident Evil didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> A large statue stands silently in the darkness. <laughs> How else do statues stand? <laughs> you can't turn down that damn statue! <laughs> this statue goes to 11, mate. <laughs> it's got a little knob on it. Uh, I've got to find the Necronomicon. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Mr. Campbell, they're ready for you to go shoot the tool shed scene. Give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not who you think I am now. Uh, the chin's coming right at me. <laughs> I feel sorry for the guy's mom having to push that chin out. <laughs> A number of bandages have been hung up. Could these brown stains be blood? I hope so. <laughs> you know it's bad when you're hoping for blood. They're a mixture of things. They're a palette of yuck. Why can't we just make everyone happy and they be bloody poop stains? Everyone wins that way. <laughs> everyone wins with bloody poop stains. <laughs> <laughs> you can have your blood and poop it too. <laughs> Bruce, is that you? Listen, I'm putting Evil Dead 4 on hold. To hell with this horror shtick. I'm gonna go direct spider- ah! <laughs> If only. Did the wind from that knock him over? <laughs> it's nowhere near his head. Can I see the instant replay on that? That was a forced perspective knocking outing. <laughs> <laughs> it's Lisa! Leather faces. Uh, she's one of those girls that doesn't really look like her picture. <laughs> you 
are my husbands now! <laughs> no, no, no! Can we get this annulled? <laughs> eh, eh, dead end. Oh god. Let's consummate the marriage! Oh god, damn it! <laughs> I expect 30 minutes of foreplay! Ah, oh, come on! Whoa. <laughs> You're getting her excited, Rick. Never mind, honey, I'm done. <laughs> she changes into a really hot chick after she's done. <laughs> what a bitch that relationship would be. Now, do you think when Lisa was tearing the faces off her victims, one of them might have been heard to say in an implacable accent, you're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can only hope. Oh. oh, hey, buddy. Sounds like you could use some penetrating vapor action. <laughs> you are a terrible zombie. Look at you. <laughs> he practiced all day long for the big moment and blew it. Back there. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Such a comical angle. Just need someone to talk to. It is over, Todd. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you sound just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> There's something written in this indentation. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will shine in the heavens. Oh, so somebody cut and pasted whatever dumb fuck horoscope was in the paper that week for their eulogy. <laughs> this sounds like Gary. Time to read my tarot hexagons. <laughs> I foresee a bunch of made up crap in your future. Spun by an unemployed person who's trying to make up for their lack of personality with quirky hobbies. <laughs> Should've played as Jill. Give you something nice to look at, and eight item slots. <laughs> yeah, well. Though, I don't want to know where the extra item slots come from. <laughs> <laughs> she was smart and planned ahead and brought a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> fanny packs. I forgot about those. 90s? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 90s. <laughs> I swear to God, we're not doing that on purpose. Just happy accidents. Uh, just know as soon as I get out of this item screen, that bitch-ass crow is gonna come flying right towards Chris's big dumb face. Ah! Oh, oh, big dumb face. 90s. Ah. Oh, it is a bad day to be a crow. Damn. Is that Charlton Heston's tombstone? <laughs> yes, we literally pried it from his cold, dead hands. Eh, what can I do? That's getting tucked away for later. <laughs> you don't use the Magnum on just anybody. <laughs> That's right. That's getting tucked away in the wallet for the day that'll never come with Jill. <laughs> so stupid. They even had that moment in the very beginning in the main hall where Chris is like, Oop, I'm going off into the murder mansion. See ya. And Jill goes out of her way to stop him. And it's like she wants to say more than just take care. But it wouldn't be professional. Yeah, and Captain Whiskers is right there too. Thanks for the cock block, Captain Whiskers. <laughs> that would make the most confusing t-shirt ever. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy one. A selection of gardening supplies. There doesn't seem to be any- <laughs> Who hangs a shovel like that? Uh, uh an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is the asshole shovel hanging method. As outlined in the book. <laughs> gardening for assholes? <laughs> <laughs> this is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha 
team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. Oh shit. This is, this is Brad. Brad. Stars Alpha team. Bravo <laughs> team. It doesn't matter. I'm definitely not the guy who left you to be eaten by monster dogs. Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Uh, this is Pizza Hut. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> broken. Pizza Hut. <laughs> We're on radios, dumbass. Uh, yeah, this is Pizza Hut's new radio frequency. We don't deliver out there. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, oh no. Uh, he doesn't see me. <laughs> huh. Aw, blind zombie dog. Oh, he sees me. <laughs> oh, shit. This is for Joseph! for fighting me in the main hall! <laughs> My god, man. No lickies. <laughs> All dogs go to hell. <laughs> Dog bodies everywhere! Ah! Uh, 90s. <laughs> uh, that's not happy 90s. No. You really want me to be a good dog? <laughs> <laughs> There's a square-shaped hole here. Ah, damn, and here I am with an octagonal penis. <laughs> <laughs> My womb broom looks like it was made in Minecraft. <laughs> Gross. It's terrible. <laughs> now that's a confusing t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> this looks awful. Oh, this looks like a Windows Movie Maker stool sample. Ugh, yeah, don't set your export settings to eye broccoli. <laughs> eye broccoli. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know, the opposite of eye candy. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of genius. I'm filing that one away. Carrion. By Calvin Klein. Well, with the right marketing, I wouldn't be surprised if people bought a cologne that smelled like death. <laughs> well, how do you explain the success of Axe? Or as I like to call it, lady repellent. Axe, so women two blocks away know you didn't wash your balls today. <laughs> ah, snake! Yeah, they're not nearly as intimidating as their cousin. Their voices are all high. <laughs> Step on me and I'll tell my cousin! <laughs> how did you do that? I'm a robot. Ah. Uh, of course. Yeah! <laughs> ah, I don't want to be down here! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, save room. Save rooms are my anti-drug. <laughs> Speaking of stoner jams, I do love me this chill save room music. Oh yeah. Instant zombie ward too. <laughs> yeah. If you ever find yourself out there in the Zompocalypse, just get yourself a boombox with this track on it. Zombies can't be where this music's playing. It's science. Yep, it's gotta be the Resident Evil whale song. It's locked. The door plate reads zero zero. The door plate reads one zero one one zero zero one zero one one zero one 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 zero 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 one zero one one zero one zero one one zero zero one. That's a very long and very expensive number plate. Okay. Ow! What you doing with that shotgun? <laughs> oh. Charlotte? Charlotte? Charlotte! A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meeting? Never mind that, our flaming mojito is ready. <laughs> Bottoms up! <laughs> ah, cherry flavored paraffin, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it is bootylicious up in here. I think we found the umbrella dormitory. <laughs> oh god, giant spider frat brats. <laughs> no means no! Dude, what is up with you? You just harshed my mellow. <laughs> you're being like a narc right now. Hey, butt poster. I bet your boyfriend couldn't do that. 
Thum. Uh. Just when you thought frat boys couldn't get any more repulsive. <laughs> when a radioactive chemical leaks at a local fraternity. <laughs> damn, bro, Heim, what is your damage? <laughs> it's cool, whatever, bro. You still gonna make it to 311 in the quad? We'll chase down some Cherokee chicks on the trail of beers, you feel me? <laughs> Ranch it up! <laughs> an advertisement for an arm wrestling contest. The winner will be named Chief for a Day of the Raccoon Police Department? <laughs> what? And Chris has no reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any red flags at all here, Chris? <laughs> There's just a flashing neon sign that says, Umbrella owns the local police department. Umbrella owns the local police department. <laughs> <laughs> Could it have some kind of meaning? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I will take the red book by Carl Jung. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, smart reference. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's empty! <laughs> that about sums up how I feel about Carl Jung's work. I mean... Uh... Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakens? Ah. Also, everyone is extremely bisexual. Women are stupid, hysterical creatures. And I'm gonna go hang out with some Nazis. <laughs> Yet somehow it still made it into Oprah's book club. <laughs> Remington, corner pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Why, someone left a comfy looking spider beanbag chair here. Dibs. Well, that was the filthiest cracker barrel I have ever visited. Bikini girls. Old country store, my eye. <laughs> Grandma and her elderly gentleman friend don't need to see that. Oh, dear. Oh, reminds me of when I was quite the piece of tail. <laughs> if you don't push the crate over the hole in the floorboards over here, a giant tentacle shoots out and chokes you. <laughs> so it's a tentacle glory hole? Is that oh, what you're saying? Oh, <laughs> it is. <laughs> ah. uh, so the gallery's locked. Oh, darn. Won't have to go in there and pretend to have reactions to art. Uh, why are there wasps in a beehive? <laughs> Watch out. In the next room, there's a horde of deadly chipmunks living in a beaver lodge. <laughs> oh, bathroom noir. In all of the shitters and all of the murder mansions in the world, she had to walk into mine. Oh. Oh. Whoa, hey, somebody's in here. <laughs> What the f Dude, I totally hit the aim button and he didn't turn around. Oh, that's what you get for trying to use the shitter at Waffle House. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Someone appears to have vomited blood on some of the newspapers. Oh, it must have been a copy of Life and Style magazine. We've all been there. <laughs> all about breakups in the digital age. Should you delete your Facebook profile after a divorce or... <laughs> Plant 42 report. Oh god, I hope this isn't my life and style. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Plan 42 report. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Four days have passed since the accident. The planet point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it begins. <laughs> the T virus has a substantially stronger effect on this one. <laughs> King of Pops getting worked up over Plant 42. <laughs> this is some hot stuff. <laughs> the T-Virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. That's why it belongs in Neverland Ranch. <laughs> Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the... <laughs> <laughs> the scientists went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the Jamona has been like a pool. <laughs> I love how you're replacing words with the nonsense. <laughs> There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific... 
Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. Ooh. Uh. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. Ah, uh, it's not ignorant. When it captures its prey, when it's inactive, the, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders like me. <laughs> ah, there's more. Wow, this is dragging on longer than my hit song, Dangerous. Plant 42 is dangerous! <laughs> Perhaps we should <laughs> to a commercial break. <laughs> commercial break? The hell are you talking about? We don't we don't do commercial breaks. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> okay. Hey, remember when Topsy and I said this? Thanks for the cock block, Captain Whiskers. <laughs> That would make the most confusing t-shirt ever. <laughs> yeah, I'd buy one. And tons of you guys said this? So by popular demand, we're giving you what you want. That's it? Let's have some energy, man. We gotta sell these things. Oh. Alright. By popular demand, we're giving you what you want. That's right. The official Captain Whiskers t-shirt is now available at ICWXP.com. Here's a hot girl wearing the shirt. Subconsciously associate the shirt with sexual gratification and buy one. Here's a hot guy wearing one. Subconsciously associate the shirt with sexual gratification and buy one. Confuse your friends and pets with an incredibly obscure reference. But Rick, why doesn't the shirt say the full classic line from our hit Let's Riff series? Why doesn't it say, thanks for the cock block, Captain Whiskers? Because minimum quantities, Topsy, we had to order an unbelievable amount of shirts and we need to actually be able to sell them. Rohan's gotta be able to wear this gear to church, Rohan. Oh my science! Just $11.99, the same price as a small drink at Starbucks. Just $11.99, the same price as anything at the Dollar Tree. Just $11.99, you could buy this shirt or $11.99 one-hundredths of chapstick. How many lips do you have, Cloth North? No interdimensional shipping! Avoid contact with skin. Sleeves sold separately. Safe for use around Venezuelan poodle moths. No major credit cards accepted. An equal opportunity employer. Do not microwave! Edited for television. How's my driving? Buy the official t-shirt for this t-shirt promo. Just 66 euros and 853 grand British pennies. Only an empty nothingness awaits you after you die. Harmful if swallowed. If you cannot read these instructions, please notify a flight attendant. In the event of fire, just say no. Shake well before signing here without admission of guilt. Traffic fines double in a well-ventilated area. Not to be worn internally. For private use only. Children's advisory, appropriate lyrics. Keep frozen until ready to use. Quantities are limited while supplies last. Oh, uh, that one actually kind of made sense. What, some of them didn't? What, do you think we'll sell a lot of shirts? How do you think it was? Weird and off-putting. Great. That's how Plant 42 dodged another unjust pedophilia charge. It was ignorant. One witness reported that it was as if was it was if I was... Who the f*** wrote this? This is all f***ed up. It's ignorant. <laughs> oh, forget it. I got a date with Deputy Jailbait. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh no, more books. Chris's arch nemesis. <laughs> so those evil things teachers tried to get me to open in between workout routines, bruh. They don't burn shit for calories. <laughs> Unless you use them like this. <laughs> uh, Chris is on what, Alpha Team, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what fraternity Chris was a member of? <laughs> what? Ready for this? Alpha Kappa Zed. <laughs> Huh? Yes. Huh? You're welcome, comedy. Uh, gonna do this wooden crate tango every time you go by the octopus glory hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, small price to pay, really.
I wonder what's in here. Probably another creepy room. Nope, Peterson wedding. <laughs> well, well, something's moving. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, the groom got cold feet. The bed shows signs of being used. Oh, God, what went on in here? I don't know, but let's be sure to get our fingerprints all over everything. <laughs> <laughs> the books are mostly concerned with literature and philosophy. Ew! The only philosophy I subscribe to is fuck stress, bench press. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so this is the self-defense gun, which if shoots I'm... out a devastating cork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got great range. <laughs> Able to stop a charging nearsighted person at 50 feet. <laughs> hey, Mr. Carradine, can I have your autograph? Uh, wait for it. Uh, good filthy bathroom nap. <laughs> uh, it has been too long since we heard the sweet refrain of Opa. It has been a minute, hasn't it? Yep, about face! <laughs> I forgot to look in here. Chris is very militaristic about his toilet time. <laughs> Anytime he uses the restroom, you just hear all this muffled, belligerent cadence getting shouted. <laughs> his co workers are just exchanging uncomfortable glances. <laughs> what is he doing in there? <laughs> Washing his hands. That's no big deal. <laughs> Why there's no Chris Jill romance is starting to come into sharp focus. <laughs> he's got a great body, he's super handsome, he's a great cop, but I just can't get past that bathroom thing. What <laughs> is that? <laughs> oh, poor Chris. Go away, book. I have no use for you. <laughs> you are not a coloring book. <laughs> Was going to ask out Jill, but got distracted with the latest issue of Highlights. <laughs> oh. Back to the spank bait room. You understand me, butt poster. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the topic of uh, clickbait or spank bait or whatever you want to call it, did you ever see the Let's Play that has the most hits for this on YouTube? No. Well, it's this thumbnail image I keep seeing pop up more and more. It's of Jill, naked, but you can't see anything because she's got her leg hiked up. It's a very odd pose. Whoever did the playthrough must have photoshopped it because it's from this really raunchy hentai of Barry, Chris, and Jill engaging in a <clears throat> Jill sandwich. Ah, classy. Oh, oh, your vomitous story distracted me. I forgot about Cthulhu here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Take that shit over to David Carradine. He said 305. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Maybe it wasn't suicide. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie and the tentacle were up to a little something something. Things got out of hand. <laughs> The tentacle made it look like a suicide. <laughs> uh, anyway, continue your story where dear sweet Jill is defiled by internet perverts. Oh uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. They photoshopped out Chris and Barry, so the video's thumbnail just looks like Jill getting railroaded by thin air. <laughs> but she's naked, so it has like millions of hits, I assume. Oh yeah. Now well, that makes me feel good about the world. Yeah. There's a ladder here. Climb down. This strikes me as a bit of an odd place for the entrance to an underground research facility just in some random dude's bedroom. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine the foot traffic through there? I never get any sleep. <laughs> All kinds of evil deliveries coming and going. <laughs> He's got a girl over. Russian warlords are showing up. We are here to see new bio vapen. Ah, I'm really sorry, Rachel. I'm gonna have to take this. <laughs> oh. Oh no. A moat full of filthy amusement park water. Richard. What? 
Is he astral projecting? Chris! There's a used band-aid in the water! Chris, stop! No! Huh, shouldn't have bathed in that raw hamburger, I... Huh. <laughs> Richard. Don't worry, buddy, I'll run back to the other room and get you the serum! <laughs> we'll have Rebecca creepily stroking your face in no time. <laughs> Uh, if you could move to the World of Guppies exhibit, we'll restart the tour in an hour. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, man, that was hilarious. I know, right? How was he down here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Talk about jumping the shark. <laughs> the, the whole aquarium. Seriously, let's recap Richard's day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got up, went for a run, got a nice hot shower. Had some Cheerios, not apple cinnamon or honey nut, multigrain Cheerios. Richard cares about his heart. <laughs> Go on. Got to work, caught that cute lady cop eyeballing him again and decided it was finally time to work up the nerve to ask her out. After work, of course. Well, yeah, yeah, you gotta be professional, right? Yeah, yeah. Then he hopped on the sabotaged helicopter, crashed in the woods, ran into a murder house. Right. Somehow got past the locked door with no key. Yeah. Got bitten by a horrifically oversized snake, but miraculously recovered thanks to some cough syrup. <laughs> uh -huh. Then somehow, once again, astoundingly got through several locked doors with no keys, wandered into an aquatic laboratory, and then finally got eaten as fuck by a mutant zombie shark. <laughs> Grr, Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, you hit a shark. <laughs> Unknown source of pressure detected. Oh, God. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Yeah, I had a girl do this once when I tried to break up with her. <laughs> Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Yeah, thanks, BMO. <laughs> it does sound like BMO. Romulan Warbird off the port bow! <laughs> oh man, Shatner would be all over the place right now. La 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 la, la valve three. I've got to have sex with those space sharks. Reaching 50% <laughs> of pressure threshold. I've got to, mister! Release the safety again. Damn it, Bones! They've bitten off the little phaser! <laughs> Shut up. Please insert another dollar to continue watching Shamu strip. Chris, get back! There's a genetically modified hyper-aggressive super chinchilla! <laughs> Every time you walk into a new room, Richard's just somehow alive again. <laughs> yeah, and there's a new monster. <laughs> Richard's a very special kind of cop who, like, specializes in being devoured by comically oversized killer animals. <laughs> <laughs> they don't teach you this at the academy. You learn this out in the field. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be devoured by field mice. <laughs> Chris just doesn't question it. <laughs> no, this is what's happening now. Caught in some kind of nightmare hell loop. Chris! It's a mammoth mutant three-toed sloth! <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, just... Yeah, just, just, just walk around it. Yeah, it's fine. Whoop! Ah, uh, I guess now we gotta find a giant killer mutant toilet to flush the giant mutant killer shark down. <laughs> ah! That son of a bitch shark was going for a gun! <laughs> well, I don't even have to plant evidence now! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that's the fun part. Crafting a story. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger boat. Uh, I'm gonna need a bigger pair of pants to shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris, it's literal! <laughs> I think I got him on the ropes. <laughs> Dude, what if the game just went completely off the rails here and Richard just punched his way out? Oh, that would be sweet. Nyan, yeah, yeah, Mick Fanning. <laughs> you think you're the shit because you punched a shark? 
punched my way out of a shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got my one-liner ready to go here. <clears throat> let's save this oh, one. Oh, let's hear it. Shark week is canceled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Richard's like. <laughs> That's not first aid spray. <laughs> <laughs> That's some of that sweet raccoon herb, man. This will get you so blazed you think you're a raccoon, man. It happens every time. <laughs> I smoked a bowl last week and woke up naked in my neighbor's trash can with a belly full of garbage. <laughs> then they chased me off with a broom. So it was pretty much like any other time I've done drugs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, results may vary, I don't know. Yeah, you may not go full raccoon the first time. <laughs> full raccoon? <laughs> Dude, you went full raccoon last night. <laughs> yeah, you you started humping on a stranger's porch at like <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning. It was wild. Hot. Probably smells like the dumpster behind Red Lobster down here. <laughs> Red Lobster, come see what's rotten today. <laughs> Damn it. Somebody overpacked. <sighs> it's that damn Red Book, dude. Didn't even need it down here. <laughs> I thought for sure I'd have to reference Freud's research on the superego down in the mega shark tank. <laughs> and it just didn't come up. Chris, look out! It's a giant mutant killer pygmy gerboa! <laughs> a what? <laughs> a giant mutant killer pygmy gerboa. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> it's this... <laughs> it's this tiny little mouse. It looks like a little hairy cream puff. And it has tiny little kangaroo legs. It weighs mere ounces. <laughs> so, so a giant killer mutant one would be what? The size of a runty rat? <laughs> <laughs> Richard's just standing there staring down at it after he screams. That's, I, I don't know why I got so worked up over this. <laughs> you you want to pet it? It's, it's really nice. It's got a very healthy, soft coat. <laughs> then out of nowhere, it leaps to his throat. <laughs> Ugh, so pissed I have to go back for those magnum rounds. They are like the deadly unicorns of the bullet world. <laughs> awesome band name. <laughs> What's up? We are the deadly unicorns of the bullet world! <laughs> are you guys ready to see Trapped? <laughs> <laughs> trapped? <laughs> yeah, I just picture them opening for... Horrible, watered down. Oh god. Washed up radio pseudo metal bullshit bands. <laughs> uh. A corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. Could he have been listening to Volbeat? <laughs> <laughs> well, back to the glory hall full of bees. <laughs> 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 Suck on that, you bastards. No! It smells like red lobster! <laughs> I'll get you swole, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little stung to death humor. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm pre rendered. <laughs> yeah, couldn't move if I wanted to. <laughs> well. <laughs> Gotta get back to hoarding nuts. <laughs> various berries uh, in my face. Red Lobster, please don't mention the shithouse door on a tuna boat smell. <laughs> it's, it's all spelled out on the sign outside. <laughs> oh, now we really are at Red Lobster. <laughs> the crispy calamari and vegetables has the shits. <laughs> <laughs> The dish itself. <laughs> if the entrees themselves have the squirts, I don't want to see what happens to you. <laughs> Ew, more books. I can just feel my muscle mass decreasing, man. A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. This place could use a syphilitic hobo's touch. Uh-oh. Chris Kryptonite. 
<laughs> uh, an entire encyclopedia set. Must find protein shake. <laughs> Reading never helped anybody. <laughs> L -l Love in the workplace. How to tell your c c co-worker how you feel without m making it w w wired? <laughs> uh, uh, books are useless! <laughs> 101 ways to escape a murder mansion without really trying. <laughs> yeah. Useless! <laughs> no, it's even worse than that. 101 ways to escape a murder mansion without really trying. Colon. Raccoon City Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. 101 ways to escape a murder mansion without really trying, colon, Raccoon City Edition, parentheses, for steroid-soaked mental midgets. <laughs> 101 ways to escape a murder mansion without really trying, colon, Raccoon City Edition, parentheses, for steroid-soaked mental midgets, issued to Chris Redfield. <laughs> 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 Who could possibly make use of this? <laughs> Just gobbledygook. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly grown plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. The ducks eat for free at Subway. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Nothing could have prepared us for our findings. <laughs> <laughs> we have given the UMB number 20 a new name. V-Jolt. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> this is a kicky new energy drink. <laughs> Available wherever drinks are sold. <laughs> if calculations prove correct, when v is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. <laughs> so it's a delicious energy drink slash herbicide. <laughs> Multi-purpose. <laughs> Apply v directly to your V. <laughs> oh, delicious energy drink, herbicide, and feminine rejuvenator. <laughs> Give your V a jolt with v <laughs> All right, that's stupid. Extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. <laughs> um, you're a huge fan. <laughs> and not to be insensitive, but I don't think I'd be taking advice on how to mix chemicals for Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <clears throat> It'd be really funny if it mixed up that formula and you're like, this is the formula for Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Well, I guess I gotta blackmail the Dr. Pepper people now. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, wait. Um, this is Dr. Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Thunder. That's pretty low. Be it Mr. Pibbs, bitch. <laughs> oh, those magic words. Uh, we don't have Dr. Pepper. Is Mr. Pib okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm lost as to what you're even doing anymore. Are these, these books are titled... Bandage with blood? Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> so, so they are. <laughs> that is terrible medical advice. <laughs> Doctor, the patient's bleeding out! <laughs> I don't understand! Bandage him with more blood! <laughs> They're just like smearing more blood on his wound, trying to coagulate it with a hairdryer. <laughs> uh, oh! Ruh <laughs> Zoinks! A secret passage, Scoobs! <sighs> well, I got bad news. I gotta go back to the item room before I go in there. Ah, oh, Chris. You're debilitating item diseases. Such a drag. <laughs> should think up a name for that. <laughs> well, that's easy. Redfield's disease. <laughs> I'm very sorry, sir, but you've been diagnosed with type 2 Redfield's disease. 
Here's a pamphlet on item management. <laughs> but wait, what if you bandage me with blood? Genetically modified super sharks. Genetically modified super sharks. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Biker mice from Mars. <laughs> Hashtag 90s. <laughs> 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 You know what really dries my tentacles? Hashtag people, hashtag who, hashtag use, hashtag hashtags. <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, Ron, we have got to talk about your polyps. <laughs> Every anime Chris has ever seen is flashing through his head. <laughs> oh, Ooh. dude, that's a fine. How do you do? At least buy a girl dinner first. <laughs> Feel so used. Plant forty two just splooged on the side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Oh, that reminds me. I got something for you. Oh. Kind of busy. Ah. Ouch. No, but seriously, you don't have to do anything. I downloaded a soundboard to my vocoder. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be great. I'll use it every time you take a hit, and every time you hit the boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's spectacular. <laughs> I love it. Man, I am getting my ass handed to me here. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> These are starting to get a little uncomfortable. No, the bear! <laughs> you gotta stop. I'm tearing up. We're gonna die. <laughs> oh, there it is. Perfect. Ah, uh, it's tough to do the big bad. That one's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Him disappearing and reappearing. Combined with pervy Michael Jackson noises made that the perfect flavor of fucking weird. <laughs> it's glorious. I gotta say, if I heard what sounded like Michael Jackson conjugating the verb, I'd probably blip out of existence myself. <gasps> oh, you scared me. I thought you were a huge bukkake plant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Richard, he's gone. He's his last. <laughs> Stop it. I'm sorry. Truly. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I figured out how to put booty shorts in pill form. I'm glad you're still okay. <laughs> Hashtag swipe left. <laughs> Jeez, Richard, thanks for throwing cold water on everything. <laughs> you know, that is just like him to know that I like a girl and get eaten by an uber shark. <laughs> yeah, he's a cool dude to hang out with, but as soon as a girl walks into the room, everything's got to be about Richard, Richard, Richard. <laughs> oh, do you know how many overgrown killer animals I've been eaten by? <laughs> well, let me tell. <laughs> Uh, um, what's that squishing sound? <laughs> it's me, Chris. Want me to treat your wounds? <laughs> no, don't do it, man. She's got the squishies. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Yeah, would you? Oh, here we go. <laughs> huh? Rebecca has treated your wounds. Thanks. <laughs> that was magical. So they did it? <laughs> 
Oh, definitely. yeah, they, they yeah. definitely. Oh, they did. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard steroids cause shrinkage, but that was just ridiculous. Be strong, Rebecca. <laughs> I thought it was just the balls that shrank, not the whole, you know. Not only am I not into guys anymore, but I don't think I'm into anything anymore. <laughs> Can you still talk to her? <laughs> Take care, Chris. <laughs> well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep alphabetizing these pharmaceuticals. Don't think about tiny, horrifying little micro penises. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's got to be some other barely legal co workers around here I can sexually disappoint. <laughs> Deputy Jailbait, you've been promoted. <laughs> You're now under Sheriff Barely Legal. <laughs> <laughs> under Sheriff. Nice. Oh. Whisker? <gasps> Captain Whiskers! Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where have you been? Where's Jill? <laughs> Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Those are enough details for me. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombies. <laughs> got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip the situation. Uh -huh. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Sure. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. 10-4, <laughs> Commander Double Cross. Now only if we had some delicious Dr. Thunder. <laughs> we should uh, conduct a taste test between Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pibb, and Dr. Thunder and see who is... The true medical professional, and who went to a for-profit college? <laughs> well, you know, there's like dozens and dozens of Dr. Pepper knockoffs. Are you serious? I thought it was just Mr. Pibb and Dr. Thunder. Nah, dude. There are tons of them. That's crazy. Is it like a regional thing? Because, I mean, I grew up here in Missouri, and I've only ever seen Mr. Pibb and Dr. Thunder. Uh, yeah, I think that's part of it, but a lot of them have come and gone throughout the ages. Interesting. However, not as interesting as the Magnum. Ooh, damn, son! That's right, that's right. You lumbering at me? You lumbering at me? Huh? <laughs> you drooling on yourself? You drooling on yourself? <laughs> yeah, I think this will more than compensate for my shriveled, pathetic womb broom. I know here at the theater we have Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pibb, and I think Dr. Thunder. Right, but what about all the other knockoffs? You mean the likes of Dr. Extreme? <laughs> or Dr. Fizz? <laughs> or how about Mr. Ah? Uh... can't answer me. Somebody oh. give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Look for the giant middle finger. Damn! Well, I never again enjoyed the kicky taste of Dr. Delight! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Dr. Delight. Hello, ladies. I'm Dr. Delight. <laughs> Give me a pervy Michael Jackson beat, Topsy. There's some, there's some guys I know, and they would love it if you said this as Albert Wesker. Don't call me Captain Whiskers, meow, meow, meow. Don't call me Captain Whiskers, meow, meow, meow! Gaming. Man, I hope we wrap this murder investigation up soon.
I was right in the middle of organizing my pogs and slap bracelets. <laughs> Can't wait to get home, kick off the combat boots, and crack open a cold one. By a cold one, I mean a can of Dr. Radical! <laughs> yes! I know what my superhero name is now. Right? I have a doctorate in radology. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> is your party suffering from a case of lame? Time to make an appointment with Dr. Radical, dude. <laughs> it's just like I can see the commercial. It's like a bunch of 13-year-olds hanging out at a really lame party. And the mom's like, here's some milk and cookies. And then the TV fires on. And Dr. Radical's like, lucky for you, I make house calls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa! Score. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to make sure you can get away. Ah. <laughs> Eternally yours, Wesker. Captain Whiskers, you my boo. <laughs> Don't call me Captain Whiskers. <clears throat> P.S. Do you like me as more than a friend? <laughs> Check yes or no. Christmas at the Waco compound. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, it's time. Jeez. Someone strapped a GoPro to Gary Busey. <laughs> hey, a good way to lose weight is to put salt on your ass and go to a petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> that timed out perfectly. It was like Chris heard this cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs inspirational quote from behind him and immediately chose to open fire. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't do the same in his shoes? I mean, really. <laughs> well, whoever said that has to die. <laughs> so, that was a hunter. They suck. <laughs> and they are, of course, Gary Busey clones spliced with dinosaur DNA. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Is there no end to Umbrella's depravity? <laughs> <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Let's see how good a job Wesker did repairing the doorknob. Wow. Nice. You could really feel the new suspension. <laughs> yep, that's Gary Busey. <laughs> Failure stands for finding an important lesson, inviting needed growth. <laughs> Just gonna grab the faceless Necronomicon here. <laughs> the book was bound in human elbow skin. Uh, <laughs> it's made out of weenuses. <laughs> Which sounds pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, you kind of fudge the W there. You can really freak people out. Fudge my W. So. At long last, you see the use for the wooden mount. Oh, you use it to burn the mansion down with you in it. <laughs> Bold choice, but I support it. <laughs> Crossfire! Oh, there it is. You get caught up in the crossfire! Crossfire! <laughs> Nailed it. Man, this is like actually legitimately nice and cozy in here. Yeah. Note to self, bring Jill back here for Netflix and chill. Oh, it's been a good long while since I've had any Netflix and chill. What you, what you talking about? Don't you have like a little thing going on with Lady Deadpool? Uh, ha, ha. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All aboard the nope train to f thatville. Well, the mansion's kegel exercises are really paying off. <laughs> <laughs> There's a switch here, press it, sure. Seems like a good time to just go pressing buttons willy-nilly. <laughs> well, it seems to have worked out so far. <laughs> yeah? yeah? You know me, man, I can't do the casual thing. It just feels so hollow. Mm-hmm. Use a strong, independent woman, Rick. 
You deserve more than just his it in the skizzins. I mean, it's not like I expect a wedding ring or anything, but... You walk away with a jaw ache like that, and you... <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a pile of shit here. Press it. <laughs> <laughs> the only book worth reading is Fahrenheit 451. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. <clears throat> and then, in the epitome of irony, burn it! So, there was a eagle medal in the book. I could get into some eagle medal. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> it's gonna be a very Gary Christmas. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> of course. I don't read dates out loud to aliens are listening. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde in those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do but try tasting all of them? <laughs> At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes. But that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Captain Whiskers. Don't call me Captain Whiskers. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better than to imitate Liberace with a claw hammer. <laughs> what? It was a dark and day. Those bastards at Amazon knew from the beginning that I'd die here. Covered in baby food, wearing a rubber necktie. Rubber necktie? But it's too late now, I'm losing it. <laughs> Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. I threw up in the VCR. <laughs> because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety on the black market. Gary Busey, 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 Busey. Who said that? <laughs> Gary Christmas to all. And to all a what the f***. <laughs> a name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch here. Press it. <laughs> it's like this game's catchphrase. I hope that's on the box art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here lies George Trevor, beloved utility ladder. <laughs> That's actually always bothered me. You never find the guy's body and you. Ah! Oh, oh. Damn, that ass, though. <laughs> Damn, that cephalothorax, though. Sup, player? Checking out my girl's ass? <laughs> Oh, it's cool. We cool. I know her booty is slamming. <laughs> her booty is why God gave me eyeballs. <laughs> Eight of them. <laughs> Two is not enough to take in all that booty. <laughs> the female spiders down the hall. Did you just gun down my husband? No. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, so I read that at one point someone produced a Resident Evil musical. Did it go like this? There's a switch here. <laughs> Press it. I hope so. There's a switch here. Will you press it? Oh. Go down is about to be some shit. <laughs> Ugh. My poopy pants are loud. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Find me some flesh. Please make it fresh. T virus, T virus, make me a ghoul. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what kind of zombie am I? <laughs> Shut up down there. <laughs> to go back and shoot him again. <laughs> shoot him in the head, shoot him in the head. That's the only way to make him dead. 
My first day on the job at Kmart. <laughs> yeah. And this isn't even in the back. These are just aisles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is childcare. <laughs> All the enemies have been replaced just with unattended children with no shirts on. <laughs> Kiss the cook, baby. Oh, we have worm trolleys. I can hear their squishy pants. <laughs> Opa! Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> I just conducted my magnum opus. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Huh? That, huh? that was a thing of beauty. You like? <laughs> Hi. I'm a mom. <laughs> oh, Netflix and chill, huh? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Look at Chris. So where's good to eat around here? Never mind, I just ate your teeth. <laughs> yeah, the knob's broken. This is a job for Captain Whiskers. Don't call me Captain Whiskers. Oh, yeah, Rick, uh, I forgot to tell you I had this Mondo Bizarro nightmare. Oh? Was it of electric sheep? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I had this really weird dream that we were in this alternate reality where I was a puppet instead of a robot. And you spelled your name R-I-K-K -K, like a douche. <laughs> and our entire lives here at the theater we're part of a fictional universe on an independent TV show that you and a bunch of your friends produce together. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've had that dream. It, it's pretty common. Just means you're worried about your appearance. I am not, especially after the new head. I am gorgeous. <laughs> anyway, funny thing is, you only really did the first one just for fun and as a tribute or a nod to this other show that was on real TV like 10 years prior and you never would have done it if it was still on the air. But enough people liked it that you and this other incredibly handsome guy ended up spending eight years getting it as good as possible. Eight years? Yeah, eight years. Wow. I think that's a long time for you humans, right? That's a chunk of clock. Ugh, you guys are like mayflies. <laughs> yeah, so eight years. Yep. So it didn't date much, huh? Are you kidding me? You guys produced a science fiction puppet show. You were rolling in the babes. Nice. But no matter how much better it got, the viewership for it kind of plateaued. But the people that did watch it really loved it. Very cool. I guess. And you guys would get all kinds of emails. <laughs> some of them were just to say, hey, thanks for making me laugh. And some of them were like, hey, Watching you guys help distract me while I got through all these serious medical problems, or help me get through my depression, or a really brutal breakup. Oh man, getting heavy. Yep, and of course, you guys being pathetic meatbags, were really moved by that. And even though it started off as a tribute to another show, you were really proud of it. Uh-huh, but... But at the end of the day, there still just weren't enough people watching to probably keep doing it. And you nerds were all mega bummed out. It was hilarious. I mean, like, no matter what you tried, you just couldn't reach a wider audience. It was like trying to fap it in an ice-cold shower. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. It was impossible. <laughs> or a sexy challenge. Ugh, well, anyway. Unfortunately, then something really cool happened. Do tell. Well, the original show tried to come back using Kickstarter. Oh. Yeah, and you guys were given the okay to film a promo for it, and it went up on their official YouTube channel. And you thought you were gonna get ripped new poopers by an army of trolls. But get this, there wasn't a single negative comment on it, and what in the Yule Log is going on in here? Uh, evil motion tracking eagle statue with glowing eyes. Just go on with your story. Okay. Yeah, so you filmed the promo, it went up on the original show's official YouTube channel, your fans stormed it, they had nothing but touchy-feely, mushy things to say, and it, uh, really lifted all your spirits, and you decided to hang in there for a little while longer, and, uh, 
open up an account with this uh, website called uh, Patreon. And anytime you put up a new video, people who enjoyed it can go and donate. And did they? Well, I don't know. That's when my sleep mode ended. Huh. Well, it, it kind of sounded like it had a happy ending. Why, why was it a nightmare? Did you miss the part where I was a puppet stuffed in a box for sometimes months at a time? Ugh, that sounds rough. But I guess the moral of the story would be listening to other people talk about their dreams is boring as hell. Wow. You know, R-I-K-K, -K, Rick, might have needed hooked on phonics. But he never would have said something like that. Sounds like a chode. Mail to the chief of security. Speaking of boring as hell. As read by a Dalek. Whoa, the Daleks are like my heroes. We have the same body type. Where did you get that thing? Uh, it's just a simple voice changer I rigged up with a ring modulator. Oh, that is so cool. Can I play with it? Silence, inferior robot. Rude. Dispose of the tyrant. Exterminate. Also, this is inferior grammar. Specimen should not be plural. Well, if anybody would be a grammar Nazi. Report immediately for extermination. In case of emergency situations. Report directly to the extension, number 5691. Ask to speak to Christian. All right. Good luck and season's greetings from the very merry team at Umbrella. <laughs> oh, Umbrella's got a lousy retirement program. The old are useless and we- Oh, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just found out that there's a conspiracy to have you and all of your teammates murdered and it covered up by a clandestine biogenetics corporation masquerading as a cosmetics company. Any reaction at all? This dresser just doesn't work for me here. <laughs> a jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Suppose not would. <laughs> Wait till Jill sees how much Dr. Dazzle this will buy her. <laughs> Again, Dr. Dazzle. Hi, I'm Dr. Dazzle. Oh. Let's check that prostate. Seriously, your bloody stool is really cause for concern. <laughs> oh no, forget Dr. Dazzle. Instead, we shall toast with Dr. Wow! <laughs> As endorsed by Christopher Walken. <laughs> yep. Hey, drink, Dr. Wow. It's weird, but it's good. <laughs> and a pair of googly eyes comes free with every drink. <laughs> if you're like me, you like talking to things. <laughs> nothing changes like the changes because nothing changes but the changes. <laughs> I hate to put these wise creatures down. <laughs> you put a straitjacket on me, I'll pull out your endocrine system. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real. Oh, it's real. No. The internet says so. Why is it so specific? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that had to be Nick Nolte. Season's greetings from all of us here at the Merry Team on Incognito Gaming Warriors. Please, sir, subscribe. Incognito Gaming Warriors! Here. Ah, it's flashing its upscaled textures at us. Ah! And snakes! Crikey. <laughs> They're venomous! <laughs> They're the embodiment of evil! <laughs> <laughs> and they're just gone. <laughs> okay. My question is, how long were they stuffed in the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for somebody to...
cock up this puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Somebody comes along, puts in the wrong gem, and just get buried in dead snakes. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, it's like those gag ones with the leopard skin. <laughs> yeah. Man. Umbrella really phoned it in on this death trap. It's the eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the bite, rising <laughs> up through the ceiling full of gag snakes. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Thank you, Modisc. <laughs> yep. Sweet, a boot disc for King's Quest. <laughs> Only six more to find. <laughs> Parasol. <laughs> oh, weird. What? <laughs> Now we're getting into umbrella knockoffs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Parasol would totally have dead snakes in their booby traps. <laughs> we didn't have the budget to feed them. I <laughs> <laughs> it is very costly and dangerous to feed venomous snakes suspended over your head. Ah, sorry to see that five and a quarter floppy go. That was a good game of pango. <laughs> Pango! Yep, Pango. Dude, you broke the obscurometer. What's obscure about a 1982 DOS knockoff of Sega's Pingo? Huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Right up there with Donkey Kong and Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> eh, more like. Ah! Oh. Oh, ah! <laughs> I love how you just stroll away from the <laughs> brain matter facial. <laughs> this is just life now. This is just my life. <laughs> Undead assholes just come <laughs> screeching at me from the darkness, and I, I blow their heads off. Oh, are you about to mix three green herbs? I done did it. Whoa! I call this one the Dave's Not Here Man special. Is that welcome back? Ah! Oh. He's back. So you think your dead snake jokes are funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. Quick, find a book on how to kill giant snakes. Ow! Ah! Shit! That one felt good. <laughs> Used to it now. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Well, he's circling around on you. <clears throat> you know what my favorite video game is? Snake's Revenge! <laughs> Stop it! Yes! Not cool! Oh my god! Ow! Die! Yeah! Woo! <sighs> Here are some other books you might enjoy, but you don't have to take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> Most effed up episode of Reading Rainbow ever. <laughs> right? <laughs> you hyenas want to keep it down? This is a library. Hey! Who's this guy? <laughs> That's no way to talk to our oldest and dearest friend of J J Jimmy Pylon. <laughs> okay, haha. -ha. <laughs> Hop on up, man. All right. Tight squeeze. Scooch. Scooch. Watch the antlers. You know, for guys still wearing tacky holiday get-ups in January, you should be a little more polite. Uh, and when else would you celebrate Busemus? <clears throat> uh, I I'm sorry? You know, Busemus. The birthday of our Lord and Savior, Gary Busey. See, this is why you guys should not riff without me. The Triforce is all out of balance. You guys are all making up your own creepy holidays and washed up celebrity deities. Oh! Gary Busey died on a motorcycle for your sins, Cylon. And then he came back from the dead and made Predator 2. Can I get a... Hello, pants. Hello, pants. Yeah. All right. It's been fun, but, uh... I think I'm gonna go check for a gas leak. Yep. <laughs> no, we're just giving you a hard time, Cylon. Come on, stay, stay. It's been weird without you. No, stay, stay. It doesn't matter whether you believe in Gary Busey or not. 
because he believes in you. All right, I'm done, Zo. <laughs> no, silence. No more Gary Busey, okay? Okay. Okay. <sighs> All right. What game are we playing here? It's Resident... Quiet, quiet Mound. Quiet Mound. HD remaster of Quiet Mound. Quiet Mound? Yep. Hey, hey Kenneth. Kenneth. Okay, so this is some kind of a Silent Hill knockoff? Yep. God, this is like Night of the Living knockoffs. <laughs> I see this perfectly painted masterpiece of chintziness and knockofficity <laughs> where a parasol henchman has an epic game night of Pango and Quiet Mound <laughs> as he slams the six pack of Dr. Radical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't have any idea what you guys are talking about, but if there's Pango and Dr. Radical, I'm there. Uh, hey, whoa! Uh, was that dead guy trying to suck his own? Yes! Gross! Oh, I knew we had a problem, but I didn't think it would gotten this bad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were going to have an intervention for him next week. <laughs> oh, oh, an auto fellatio intervention? <laughs> oh, God. We're afraid you're going to hurt somebody. We're afraid you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> We're cutting you off! <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah! Jiminy butt lickers! <laughs> what? It's a masturbating zombie. <laughs> His victim has nowhere to run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, guys, this is why we came here. Oh, that's <laughs> nasty for me. Okay, see, the the enemy AI has a little a little problem. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Zombies can't grab you as long as you're on stairs, but they can. <laughs> Why is it so much brighter than everything else? <laughs> oh, he's got bioluminescent horf. <laughs> Give me my keys back, man. <laughs> I swear I'm good to. <laughs> <laughs> this is indeed buckets of buffoonery. <laughs> Should have brought a poncho. Oh, hey. Cylon, you're up. Yeah. Special guest narrator. What? And don't tell me you guys actually read this garbage. <laughs> well, we've we've been doing silly voices to keep it from dragging. Yeah, just do a fun voice and it'll breeze by. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Whenever you're ready. All right, I read at my own pace. Next page, please. <laughs> you brilliant bastard. Uh, next page, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Man, you're getting off so easy! <laughs> We've had to read the freaking Library of Alexandria here. This guy gets the life and times of the Lindbergh baby. Oh, <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> Robot hell for you, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Wonder Boy! <laughs> and that's a Kyle Gast! Oh, oh my! How was that for mind bullets? <laughs> you turned him into the mucky muck. There's a round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. Where have you been all my life? Jeez! This breed is prone to aggressive behavior. Uh, it makes me sick when I see the neighbors chain their zombie up like that. Little fellow's gonna choke himself to death. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> that was close. Not gonna have to shave in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shiza. Mm. Hello, Lamb. Oh, shit. It's good to dress up like a hard dog and throw a bowl full of straight. The first wiener is free. Fun skits are finally a good thing. Ah! Ah! This is not a good what fear stands for? It stands for false evidence appearing real. <laughs> Shit, man, sometimes I think I'm Nick Nolte. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, oh hey, wow. his head, his head. Do we do it? Do we do it? Does it count? 
Oh man, I didn't even know that could happen. Whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and say it counts. Lizard voice, Opa. Three, two, one. Opa! <laughs> oh, dude, that was so sick. Rick, you tore those guys up. You had them on both sides of you. I, I don't even know how I made it through that alive. <laughs> I think the please don't snort cocaine in the bathroom sign isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not this thing. Well, what's, what's the problem? Uh, it's, it's just a really fussy puzzle. How do I look? Cylon, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're bringing sexy back. You think so? <laughs> I know so. <laughs> I I detect the snicker in your voice. Um. No, no. Cylon wore it better. Do a little spin for me. Let me see the back. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. You got some fine drumsticks, girl. Wait a second. No-brainer puzzles? Cripplingly limited inventory space? Archaic tank controls? Oh, boy. Zombies? Door load screens? This isn't Quiet Mound. This is Resident Evil, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, yeah, okay, okay, it is. But listen. I knew it. This is the Resident Evil HD remaster, okay? This is everything Resident Evil is supposed to be. No, 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 I don't care. Those 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag made for man children, Mila Jovovich movies have tainted it for me. Tainted! They probably made Alice some sort of unlockable character that permanently disables Chris and Jill as playable characters, and then they only appear in betraying bullshit cameos in her playthrough. What? No! No! Now, Cylon, listen, this game is a safe place. Paul writes shit Anderson, and his lore-raping Mary Sue Resident Evil fanfiction can't bad touch you here. You fools. If you're playing the game, you're putting cash in the pockets of the Resident Evil media juggernaut. Oh my, Gary. This game might be Capcom's number one digital selling title, and you might think that it's going to lead to a new golden era of good Resident Evil games, but it's also going to mean another movie. And I won't be a part of it. I'm out. Take your turkey tea era, too. You Gary Busey worshipping lying weirdos. Hey, I solved the puzzle. Where's dude? It's okay, Cylon. Because we're good Buschins, no matter how much you scorn us, we still love you. Did you figure out we were playing Resident Evil? I think you may have caught wind of that. Yeah. Oh. Bye, Bonnie Pompon. <laughs> <clears throat> Drinking your own blood is the paradigm of recycling. <laughs> Ow. And when angels fly inside your heart, that's when you can fly. <laughs> Aww. Chris. You okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. No touching. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. If any monsters come along, I'll curl up in the fetal position and wait for you to save me. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you worried. Sorry, Simpai Chris. <laughs> what? Got really emotional all of a sudden. You're clearly buckling under the pressure of this horrific situation. Let's split up. Good luck. <laughs> I like how she's standing in the dead creature. <laughs> just... Um, I'm knee deep in lizard man sternum. <laughs> Rebecca has a relieved look on her face. I didn't mean to ruin the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, you stay here and do things that completely undermine your character arc in Resident Evil Zero. You're on your own. Good luck. Uh, are we about to sing good 90s songs? Does this answer your question? The more mansion that I inspect, the more evil I see resident. 
The more they try to eat my lips, the more bullets that I let rip. But what I seek out your keys, my inventory's overcome with ease. The characters are all awkward. The old textures have been remastered. Pursued by dogs that eat my throat Enraged my gun starts to smoke Before some doberman bites my My ass again, my ass again, my ass Ow! Do you... Uh, do you... do you hear something? Uh, I, yeah, yeah I, I think it's coming from over there Better back up <laughs> Shh, shh, shh there it is again, from over there. <laughs> I think you can hear it best back here. Acoustically. I'm gonna back up here. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna back up. This is cruel, man. <laughs> if your dog makes that noise, I'm not sure what you have there as a dog. <laughs> Some kind of transparent creature is swimming around in the water. Things I say when I'm at the pool with Donald Trump. And if people enjoyed our content and wanted to see us make more of it and more quickly, what do you think we'd do to let them know? In this parallel universe. Oh, uh, they probably put some really discreet link on one of their videos. So as not to appear too desperate. Gotcha, gotcha, good to know. Oh, you ready to have your mind blown? Hit me, brother. In your alternate nightmare reality? Where we got our start as a fan tribute to another show? We're knockoffs. Oh my god! Gaming. Pre-order Resident Evil Zero to unlock the extra creepy Super Enopropes alternate Rebecca costume. <laughs> Nothing sells video games like appealing to the retarded sexuality of 13-year-old boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Help perpetuate completely unfair standards of beauty. <laughs> Resident Evil <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Tell yourself it's okay by buying into the fallacy that trashy costumes designed to sell things to pubescent boys are somehow empowering instead of objectifying. <laughs> they don't even try to tell me it wasn't a dude that came up with that whole concept. <laughs> right? No, honey, the, the pasties and crotchless panties are, are empowering. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Masturbate to make believe computer women and then break up with your girlfriend because she doesn't have thigh gap. Resident Evil Zero Girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Grow old and die alone because pervy Japanese video games taught you to look at women as nothing more than life support systems for boobs. Resident Evil Zero. Respect for women. <laughs> nah, but there's a, there's not really anything all that bad in Resident Evil Zero. I'm using it as a hyperbolic springboard for my searing indictment of much, much, much worse offenders out there. Does the deputy jailbait uniform make a triumphant return? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Handgun mag. Why? Good. When I see a girl wearing Daisy Duke so tight that if she were to poop him, <laughs> they'd cut that poop in half. Ow. All I can think about is how much I'd like to respect her. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is, I, th I think that may be the sickest thing I've ever heard you say, man. Really? <laughs> we just started. Oh. Raise the bar, huh?
This is Raccoon City. Small town, middle America. Apple pie. Baseball. Paramilitary branches of local law enforcement. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <clears throat> how are we gonna handle all these teenagers smoking pot and these rowdy bonfire parties? <laughs> we need an elite task force of ex-military operatives, or else these people fishing without licenses are gonna bring this city to its knees! Um, well, uh, Enrico! Forget the gunshot, your leg texture is a hot mess. Double crosser? Don't let my family see my leg texture like this. <laughs> what is coming out of his butt? Yep, drop my butt crank. <laughs> well, you do lose battle control after you die. Enrico must have run out of inventory space. <laughs> Classy jokes today in here. Huh? Hello, shotgun. Everybody I see has a rainbow tied around their neck. <laughs> what? Hey, I think we found H.P. Lovecraft's writer's den. This is where I wrote the call of Capcom. The tale of a video game company that ran many a beloved franchise into the ground. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Does Capcom know how caves work? <laughs> We're better yet. <laughs> Physics? <laughs> when you get this jacked, physics no longer reply. <laughs> you, you don't know how right you are. You have no idea how off the rails they go with Mr. Redfield here. You've never met Volcano Boulder Punching Chris. What? Just hold on, Bishava! A huge meat wad blocks the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Once again, I'm about to nope the f out. Going to the club, Blackwood up. I got a big spinneret. Then, holding an herb aloft, and the flamethrower advanced, Chris, Redfield of Stars, walked steadily down to meet the eyes. Cajun fries by the legs. <clears throat> That's it? That's it. These jumps didn't even have boss music. Aw. Now I just feel bad. Yeah, so you gots to put the flamethrower here to get through this door. Uh. Heads up, don't buy the umbrella garage door opener. <laughs> you gotta get out of your car every single time, set the bazooka down in the slot. <laughs> Go back to your car, drive it in. <laughs> I have to imagine a bunch of uh, umbrella scientists sitting around like, Hey, you know how spiders are awful? Yeah? Why don't we inject them with our T-virus and make them more awful? <laughs> oh, Dr. Scientist. <laughs> Dr. Scientist. Dr. Scientist. After all the misguided, malevolent, irresponsible, Rhymes against nature that this company is committed. It's a breath of fresh air to hear a voice of reason. Let's order some of those spiders from the Amazon that f*** up birds. <laughs> I can't possibly foresee any undesirable circumstances. I keep waiting to round one of these corners and bump into another wounded chucklehead from Bravo Team. Eduardo! <laughs> Eduardo. Wesker is... Ah! Oh no! Not character I just met! <clears throat> Why isn't anyone applying for the writer's position here at OUSWITCH?! <laughs> <laughs> Do you think when Wesker's pissed at one of his umbrella underlings, he's like, mm, I want you to write an incriminating report on our new genetic abomination. On the cave typewriter. <laughs> Oh, Wesker, come on! Can I, can I at least bring a chair? No. Seven pages. Single-spaced. Ugh, Umbrella sucks! I'm gonna go work for Parasol, man. Those guys don't give a fuck. <laughs> Thank you, borderline racist character. Going to Mahari, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what the f*** was that? 
They've created the C virus. <laughs> there actually is a C virus. Oh god damn it. <laughs> yeah, they go through the whole alphabet, man. The uh the C virus creates uh zombies that can shoot machine guns. Ugh. Yep. That is the correct answer. It also causes moody atmospheric survival horror games to mutate into meathead Call of Duty clones. Well, let's continue our descent into the Earth's mantle. And whichever way thou goest, may fortune follow. There you go. A little literacy ying to balance out the toilet humor yang. You got your ying and my yang. You got your... Uh. Oh, boy. Okay, bye. Stop texting me tit pics! <laughs> Gross! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no, you gotta pay the flamethrower toll. Nah, but I don't think Lisa's that kind of girl. I think she's more the type to send pictures of rodents that she's smashed with a hammer. <laughs> 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 Anyway, how's your sex life? <laughs> you make me feel like a natural woman! Uh, oh, she has tentacles? Ah, oh, why don't you say so, girl? Oh! So, uh, any alternate sexy costumes for Lisa in Resident Evil Zero? Ah, no. Oh man, that's... that's so typical. When did this become hotter than this? <laughs> I know, right? It is completely unfair and shallow that Lisa, a beautiful, betentacled mass of walking tumors... <laughs> Back off, Quasimona! <laughs> <laughs> and the number one way to let her know you're not interested. <laughs> Ah, oh, those look ready to pop. <laughs> Lisa is wearing a filthy burlap sack from the lavish Voorhees collection. Can't talk, gotta poop, sorry, bye. <laughs> yep, life is good. Oh, life is not good. We just walked in on a Slipknot video. Ew! New metal. I push my fingers into my ears. <laughs> yep. Lisa's confirmed for a hot topic. <laughs> the fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. I was burning pictures of my ex. <laughs> Who was her ex? Nemesis? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, now he definitely shops it. Hot topic. <laughs> yeah. Now let's not make fun. Paying $60 for a pair of jeans that three sizes too small is the purest form of rebellion. <laughs> Hot Topic, your source for prepackaged rebellion. You can just see Lisa hanging out, puffing on a cigarette. You guys, my bedroom has a snake infested sewage tunnel. <laughs> She's got the emo swoop going on, <laughs> but it's her tentacles. <laughs> You got the stone ring. Show her you turn her finger into an octagon all over again. <clears throat> Here's a picture of me with my stupid parents. <laughs> There's something written on the back. It says not to be used as toilet paper. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, somebody obviously didn't get the memo. <laughs> nope. Seven ply. <laughs> Premium bathroom tissue <laughs> by Kodak. <laughs> Body modification, tongue piercing. <laughs> Status, dad super pissed. <laughs> How much room is on the back of this Polaroid? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's usually barely enough room to write the date. Let alone the results of an evil scientific study. <laughs> Have to find. <laughs> Have to give face back to. 
<laughs> developing a bit of a speech impediment there. A little. Hardly noticeable. I got mom face back. <laughs> Weird. Oh, Can have mom accept me. Why attach her face to me so she doesn't go? Oh why? <laughs> because mom said when I meet her without her face. I like how you're throwing a little bit of Krang in there too. <laughs> yeah. Strat or from inside box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting a little chicken in there too now. <laughs> Are those slippers by the bed? Uh, up, uh, yep. <laughs> Where are my temper paintings? <laughs> I gotta say, that place was a little too orderly and uh, reflective of intelligence for Lisa. Uh, her roommate's the Phantom of the Opera, so. <laughs> okay. He's the one who keeps the spooky candles lit and hangs the curtains. <laughs> what do you think? Of these curtains, Lisa. Waterfall balance clashes with the theme of the room. <laughs> uh, she's high maintenance, but those dulcet tones. <laughs> I'd love to hear a duet between those two. Open up your mind. Let your fantasies unwind! <laughs> Soon I'll be wrapping me dattles around those Dr. Pepper collie shangles. <laughs> okay, now you're using old Victorian slang with an Irish accent. <laughs> Now's not the time for your pod snappery. This is the last time we'll be in the main hall. I'm taking a moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, so many memories. The time you got mauled by a dog. Captain Whiskers cock blockery. Aye, it's been butter upon bacon. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna need you to stop that. I'll stop when I'm good and ready, you mutton shunter. <laughs> Joan Rivers does her vocal warm-up exercises. <laughs> I wish I had a twin, so I could know what I'd look like without the T-virus. But I wish you would observe some taciturnity. <laughs> I'm gonna be offended just as soon as I look that up. <laughs> oh, you'll be so aggrieved. <laughs> we have seen our last hunter. Oh, that means Busemus is truly over. <laughs> Sad day. You're a bit of a mess up. Eh? Chris, take a piece of the action. Take a piece of the action? <laughs> Does this look like a homoerotic volleyball montage to you, Wesker? <laughs> oh, Wesker is Iceman! I just put it together! Oh, God. <laughs> she missed! <What? laughs> oh, strike two! <sighs> oh. Cover your mouth when you do that. I can't believe she missed me. And she's not gonna miss you this time. Oh, oh, hurry up, hurry up! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> you need to go back over your funeral do's and don'ts, Lisa. Nasty. Oh <laughs> Which roughly translated means... <laughs> Let me guess, this one has war and peace scribbled on the back? Probably. It's your turn. All right, I'm bringing Gary back for a farewell performance. <laughs> okay. Do my Lisa. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. <laughs> you chose well. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lisa's mother. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. That's what I used to call my nose champagne. <laughs> no champagne. Time to snort some nutrition. Woo! Uh, give Mommy BC a kiss. Uh. When we're outside, let's look for Daddy together. Okay, sweetie, be strong like a rainbow, Lisa. November 13th, Mama BC. <laughs> 
Farewell, jolly old Saint Buse. <laughs> Wesker's still hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been standing there watching you read that letter like you're Gary Busey. I'll investigate this area a little further. You can be my wingman anytime. Moses, what have I told you about parting the koi pond? Wow, and I thought the aqua ring had an inconvenient entrance. Yeah. You're gonna need the eagle medal. That's in a secret tunnel by the grave of George Trevor. You're gonna need the wolf medal. That's in a book in the library guarded by a giant killer snake. Yep, then you're gonna have to get the two umbrella emblems that unlock the gate that goes to the underground passageway through Lisa's mother's crypt. Then you can put the medals into the koi pond and you're on your way. Ugh. Okay, who backed up the John? <laughs> yeah, the lab is disgusting, and I... Hold on. Oh! Ah! Oh, ah! Yeah, there's no missing that one. Oh! Ah! Racking up the opas! Love it! I was saying, the lab is disgusting. And I think that is so pitch perfect. I know I've been ragging on the movies for years, but this is a prime example of how the movies get it so wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling you. This just screams low budget, dirty, grimy, ultra illegal, mad science. Yes. And in the movie, the lab is all clean and corporate and people are walking around with freaking lattes. It's just the worst. Oh, ah! Yeah, during the first movie, I kept expecting a hunter to walk up and be like, Looks like someone has a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Here's a case of the Mondays. Oh, oh ah! <laughs> Why do people put things up their butt? <laughs> Oh, another one? Ada, my dearest. This letter, by the time you read, no longer be the Jedi you knew will I. This, uh, this supposed to be Fozzie Bear? Yeah, right? <laughs> Screw you. Came out today, the results of my test did. Came out positive, it did. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Mm, Metachlorians, I have! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Doomed, I am. Lay eyes on me in this state. I hope you never. <laughs> but in hideous CGI form, run into me, you do. <laughs> Out of my misery, put me, I beg you. Can't look at these x-rays anymore. Fisher Price should just make sex toys, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine hearing that barely through the wall at the doctor's office? <laughs> oh. Thomas the tank engine never knew what hit him. Check out that bitchin' CRT monitor. I bet the rig attached to that has eight megabytes of RAM. Oh damn, PC Master Race! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh, oh man! No. Welcome back to Reading Painbow. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Magnifico. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic compositions of the body. <laughs> the host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Acts. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive! Oh, <laughs> nailed it. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call it Kind Crimson Head. You forgot to close your parentheses! So, login is John. Password is Ada. Browser history is disgusting. Did Netscape Navigator even have a browser history? <laughs> yes. Come on. Huh. I didn't realize you could have corpses dry cleaned. <laughs> yeah, you don't really want to hand wash corpses. 
Uh, given any more thought to what we shall play next? Uh, nope. Pfft. Fine. Just for that, I'm gonna make you watch me play through Blakestone, Aliens of Gold. <laughs> what is that? A game where every time you shoot somebody, they yell, Betty! Betty! <laughs> Who the hell is Betty? <laughs> you never find out. <laughs> Why are there magnum bullets in the sink? Because Chuck Norris was brushing his teeth and a few fell out. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hi there! Betty! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, Rick, don't. I think... I think that is another file. <laughs> There's one in every room! Oh, would you quit having the morbs you meet her? Ah, uh, now you're doing that again! Two, sanitation division. Attention, manager of sanitation. From Bane. <laughs> <laughs> when Raccoon City is covered in poo. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> then you have my permission to die. Goodbye. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, we found the umbrella sperm bank. <laughs> Warning! May explode if shaken or jarred. <laughs> oh. oh, so Chuck Norris was here. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Whoops. Entering this part of the presentation, my shadow's going to clip outside of the light source. Umbrella's most diabolical weapon yet! PowerPoint! Ah! Welcome to the death by PowerPoint kill room, Chris. It doesn't matter how many herbs you smoke, nothing can make this go any faster. Oh, look! Who's that? Ooh. <laughs> That's not me. That's clearly Johnny Cage. So, Chris, irrefutable proof that your boss is a scumbag. Finkel is Einhorn, Einhorn is Finkel. Can you <laughs> give us anything? Nope. Just the expression of a man staring at a cat's anus. <laughs> what? Tell me that's not the look of a man staring at a cat's anus. <laughs> All right. I can't. Accurate. <laughs> uh, I know that look anywhere. <laughs> it looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. You remember Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth's great. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Steady. Hey, now. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, uh, oh, why did I wear heels today? <laughs> <laughs> How would you rate Kenneth's film? <laughs> now see, I think Chris has the expression of a man staring at a lynx's anus now. <laughs> Gonna have to make an item box run. But I'm sure sociopath Chris here won't mind. Time is just a man-made construct to give meaning to our pointless existence. <laughs> I need food. Game break. Food is just a man-made construct designed to give meaning to the randomly occurring nutrients you consume. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go consume some Frito-Lay-made constructs. I'm TopsyBot5000 with a head full of crestfallen jumbo marshmallows. Why are they crestfallen? Because this... Be jabbers! Finally, a new episode. How did I miss this? I've been checking back every day for weeks. Easy fix. Just click on the gear icon next to the subscribe button and select "Send me all notifications for this channel" because I'm a watch boss. You can also click Manage Settings to select whether you want notifications sent to your mobile or email. Come on, do both and make these crestfallen jumbo marshmallows crest risen jumbo marshmallows. Oh yeah, great job. I've never seen these sugar sponges so stupid with happiness. Thanks for giving them one last thrill before Rick devours them. 
Sorry about that. I go a little wacky for the marshmallows. A little wacky? A little wacky, yeah. Uh... Ooh, it's Brundlefly! Hi, Brundlefly! Yeah, it should be afraid. Very afraid. <laughs> you were saying? Yeah, I wanted to be the first insect politician. Blah, blah. Oh! That's not proper! Ah! Ugh, are those maggots? No, these things are very aggressive rice stuffed peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they melt! Right when I walked by. <laughs> yeah, I got you good. That was like the feeling after you click on clickbait. <laughs> Ten gorgeous laboratories that became shitholes. <laughs> number seven will shock you. <clears throat> oh, that number seven. So we gotta get the elevator powered on here. Twenty shocking elevators that lost their virginity to other elevators. <laughs> number twelve will make you crap your pants and throw it at your parents. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> So, Umbrella Laboratory Lounge. Oh, I'm ignoring the no smoking sign already. What do you want to bet we'll find a aging Reuben in the fridge? In an umbrella lunchbox with Wesker's name engraved in bold letters. <laughs> eh. That should register about a .4 on the Redfield brain meter. <laughs> Ah, we gotta stop giving Chris such a hard time. It's not his fault Capcom didn't think it necessary to program him to react to anything. Eh. I feel no guilt. So, 8,462 times you missed your superior officer being an umbrella bull. <laughs> Number 2074 will blow your little internet as a wasteland of garbage content. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This place got more bugs than Fallout New Vegas. Will you take the industrial suppository? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, shit. Uh, dude, I think I'm dead. Oh, oh! Uppercut! <laughs> You're stepping it up, Resident Evil. I really didn't expect to see a Bugman diarrhea waterfall before the end of the game. <laughs> That's new. Uh, I love you in Independence Day. It's nice to play a character that has a soulful, dependent, uh, close relationship. Uh, and they get to poop uh, maggots everywhere. Uh, got me one hell of a fly swatter. <laughs> Surrender your poop and no one gets hurt. <laughs> yeah. Umbrella was so preoccupied with whether they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. You <laughs> <Ew>, chimera cuddle puddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of dissolving enemies. Well, they sure love that goofy nonsense in Resident Evil 6. Yeah, well, they're all hopped up on giraffe fellatio. <laughs> giraffe fellatio? <laughs> I'll never look at Jeffrey the Giraffe the same way again. It appears to need some kind of fuel to get started. Let me pour in there some of Mama Busey's homemade bathtub giggle junks. <laughs> That'll get her fired on. Giggle junks. Yeah! 
Let's go see what's behind the Mo desk door. This condom machine sucks! <laughs> I don't think I would use umbrella brand condoms. <laughs> Why does it say ribbed for its pleasure? <laughs> Got a feeling we're about to find out where Wesker's band practices. <laughs> Albert Wesker and the mess ups. <laughs> no, something far greater. Oh. Uh... Chris? Jill. Chris? Wesker's the. I know. The world's best boss. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Got a key? I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. Can you give me a boring file to read or something? <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Looked like a total wuss! God. <sighs> you didn't just punch the door down? So, Beta. I wonder what happens if you. Chris? Nothing. Uh, I mean... <clears throat> Chris, it's me, your arch nemesis, Wesker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're way too jacked. And I'm a bit of a mess up. <laughs> Where's the key to Jill's cell? <laughs> I thought so. Hang tight, Jill. Yeah. <laughs> Alpha reclaimed. Alright, now to get some giggle junks in that generator. <laughs> Alright, now we've already got a crimson head in the oven. Let's see how that's coming, and... Opa! Oh, I think that was our last Opa. Real? Man. No more Opa. There will be some separation anxiety. Grabbing some essence of Norris there. <laughs> yes, indeed. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect no less. Uh, we're coming up on the end of the game, dude. Here we come to the end of the game. I will never be the same. It's unnatural to play anything for a solid year. <laughs> Girl. Boys to bots. Chris! Oh boy. Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. You okay? You look like you've seen an ocelot's anus. Well, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> no more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. But staying together breaks Star's protocol. <laughs> you out of your mind? We could actually reach our objective faster and more safely. <laughs> so there's a tractor pull on Sunday. <laughs> okay. So you've been keeping up with Dawson's Creek? <laughs> no. I think Pacey and Joey are finally going to get together. I don't care. Can I have your beeper number? No. Ooh, who are your picks for the first ever Teen Choice Awards? No one. I love Christina Aguilera. I think she's a really positive role model for young girls, and I know she'll never change. <laughs> you help me set up Winamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, extended cutscene. Wesker. I'm grabbing a sugar sponge. So you've come. All right. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. Thanks. <laughs> Who taught you to sarcasm? Since when, Wesker? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? Oh, uh, we actually do PayPal. It's a lot faster. I think you're a bit confused. Yeah. I've always <laughs> been with Umbrella. And stars were umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. Remember when I sent you to market? The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your dirty hands! You son of a bitch! Stiff finger. 
Oh, yes, dear. Just like this. Becca! Don't move. Cowpoke, down! You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. I'm getting real sick of your shit, Captain Whiskers. Don't make me equip the spray bottle. <laughs> no, stop. He's got no pants! <laughs> <laughs> Why does everyone say that? <laughs> the ultimate life form. Tyrant. He's not a bit of a mess up. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. <laughs> Chris, senile? What? He's 30 something. It's magnificent. Have you looked without the sunglasses? <laughs> Chris, take a piece of the action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um... <laughs> I think the ultimate life form is hung up on the wall. <laughs> oh, why was I created with my crotch right at shooting height? <laughs> oh. And there they lay, like spent lovers. <laughs> Oh yeah, Rebecca's dead. What? No. <laughs> the the badge stopped the Rebecca. bullet. Rebecca. <laughs> she, she doesn't have one. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. What? There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. <laughs> good thing I wore my Kevlar nighty. <laughs> the the game's behaving as if she still has her original costume on, which which does have a, a vest. Yeah, I got it. Uh. uh, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, there's kind of a scene over oh, here. Oh, what the and hell it's, were you all doing while I was out? <laughs> it is sick. It's a Wesker Tyrant sex pretzel. <sighs> Boo. Boo. Skip it. No, no. This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> Observation note. Well, this observation gave me more insight into my research th through further <laughs> Maybe try singing it, Ozzy. Try singing it. This was the breakthrough <laughs> that would change the future of the B.O. W.S. is his story. <laughs> Clear as day. Hey, Topsy. Hmm? Diary of a Madman. <laughs> oh. A little foreshadowing for Resident Evil 2 from William Birkin. God, I can't believe Captain Whiskers is gone. Now the big man upstairs is staring at his anus. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? I got shot again. I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. Let's make it airborne. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. 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 Where the sun lives. Sorry, Chris, the would-be love interest is in another holding cell. No! Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Oh, man, what was that? In the original, they totally embraced. It was great. Ah. Sorry I made you wait. <laughs> Why did I say that? She probably thinks I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm all the way down to a delta now. <laughs> Man, you can barely hear self-destruct, lady. <clears throat> Here you go. Hello, Umbrella Laboratory. <laughs> yes! Nice reverb. My self-destruct system has been activated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, before you use my head's emergency exit, I want everyone to grab as much nutrition 
as they can. Because <laughs> that's going to be the new currency. Bravo. You know what currency stands for? <laughs> oh, you are making my night. Completely understanding rhetoric, righteousness, entertainment, nationalism, consumerism, and yourself. Ah, uh, the sweetest Buseyism yet. That's gonna do it for me, everybody. Watch out for a nine-foot-tall man with his heart on the outside and no dick. <laughs> Love, peace, rainbows, and axle grease. Gary Busemus, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jill, you're my ultimate life form. <laughs> <laughs> Will you make me and so many people on DeviantArt complete? Will you join with me and become Krill Valenfield? Will you take the fuse unit? When am I ever going to need one of those? The elevator isn't working. I need a fuse unit! <laughs> Check the junk drawer, sweetie. Those things are coming. Take our word for I'll it. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Or we could just all get on the lift and not be idiots. <laughs> what? what the hell? Jill, Rebecca, you've become senile. <laughs> I'll make my escape while Rebecca plays the Dimwit Sonata. <laughs> Dude. But these are too small for us to ride away. <laughs> Chris! You okay? Yeah. Right. Whoa! The last fly of ooze! He must have drank all of it! Opa! <laughs> Look out, it's the ultimate mess up! <laughs> Ooh. You're not turning me into a sex pretzel. Chris, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Thanks, God. What the? Was that supposed to be Brad? Yeah. This doesn't change anything, Brad. <laughs> Better get your best one-liner ready. Eat rockets, you Muppet Humper. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, <laughs> oh, we got one more in. Hey, man, you gotta take the foil off your baked potato if you're gonna mine. That people in Silent Hill heard that. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, yeah! There's hope for Krill Valenfield yet. Put your arm around her. Put your arm around her. He's so dumb. Next stop, Isla Nublier. <laughs> no! Can we hurry this up? I don't want to miss the Daily Show with Craig Kilborn, 90s. 90s! Ah, uh, now to beat the shit out of Brad. Ah, uh, we finally did it! <laughs> the Resident Evil, the Resident Evil. It's all relative to infecting the people. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Rob zombie? <laughs> uh huh. You know, I'm not saying you don't have good reason, but, uh, you hate the Resident Evil movies so much, how would you do it? How would you reboot the series and do Resident Evil proper? Ooh. Well, I've always thought David Borneanus would make a perfect Chris. Oh, uh, I could see that. Okay, yeah. And the pivotal role of Jill Valentine? Oh, that's easy. I'd cast Jill Valentine, the wonderfully talented actress Miss Julia Voth, who was Jill's facial model, and as a result does the most accurate Jill cosplays. You're telling me the ultimate life form is real? Oh, she's real. And you can catch her on Canadian sitcom Package Deal. I like to pretend it's Jill Backstory. So who would you cast? Gary Busey. <laughs> Just Gary Busey? Just Gary Busey in every role. We do split screens. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch it.
It pooped and died. 